Um, so, uh, we, for the most part, we finished out the, uh, hostess minigame. That's the thing that we, like, focused on yesterday. We just pretty much just banged out the hostess minigame. <clears throat> it was less bad than I thought. The first thing I did when we started up was I went and I bought, like, a bunch of items around town to see what would, if any, you can gift hostesses items. And so I bought a variety of different things just to see what they did. <clears throat> and it turned out a couple of those items drastically raised levels, like considerably. And then one of those items made them <clears throat> not have to rest. When you start out with your hostesses, they have like phases that they go through so they go from like happy to like depressed and then they won't work until they get a break but there are items apparently that restore them but early on your hostesses you don't have a lot like i think i have like 15 16 17 now <clears throat> but at the beginning you have like three four five and you need all of them so you can't really give them breaks. <clears throat> so you need like, I needed an, I needed to do something. It was like impossible, it felt. <clears throat> and I thought maybe, okay, if we take a break and do other things, maybe we come back and they'll be replenished. Nope, it's not an overtime thing. They literally need to take a break from when you do a service. <clears throat> so I wasn't sure how to handle that. Um, but eventually we found one of the items restored their attitude or whatever you want to call it willingness to work and uh that allowed us to like push through so we got like some levels under them we made them all happy and that allowed me to like really make some progress in that so we went through like the 40 some missions that they have and we did the sub stories for all the ladies at least the ladies that we could acquire that i know of <clears throat> through that so we got all that taken care of there's still one sub mission that we have to deal with and that's our hundred million dollar debt and it looks like it's going to take about four and a half hours to get all that done i'm not going to sit here and grind out through four and a half hours of doing it but we'll do it in small section so like the first thing we'll do is we'll do like 10 10 missions of the final mission to get some money basically we're getting 20 percent of our profit and when we pull in what five million dollars 20 percent of five million dollars is one million so we get basically like a million dollars for each three minute uh hostess thing so we'll do that and then we'll go do some other stuff yay what's up dude how how do you got all your products today How's it going? Ooh, that's weird. So we got some new coffee. My mom wanted to try something different. I picked out the chocolate the last time and then we just got like regular coffee and then she wanted to pick out a flavor this time. And she got <clears throat> Irish cream. I don't know what the fuck Irish cream is. That ain't my jam, dude. <laughs> that ain't my jam. This is a flavor. This is a flavor. Yikes. Yikes, that is not my, uh, this is not my cup of tea. Irish, Irish cream is something you can add to coffee. <clears throat> I would rather add that than have that. I'm not a fan of that. And that is not a flavor I like. Yeah, but Irish cream is a flavoring, like a common flavoring for coffee. I don't know what it is, though. Maybe it's supposed to taste like milk and whiskey? They lying to you? Um, no. That's a very common flavor for, like, creamers and shit like that. Irish cream is a very common, like coffee flavoring very common 
You obviously don't drink coffee that much if you don't know that. But I don't know what that flavoring is. Even other Irish creams aren't Baileys. Look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that it's a very common flavoring. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I do not like it. Whatever the flavoring is, is is not is not pleasant for me. <laughs> it definitely does not taste like whiskey. It doesn't taste milky. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. This is also part of the coffee. So whatever they're doing is they are they are adding the flavoring to the coffee grounds. So they're like soaking the grounds or something in some sort of flavoring. And um I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. You like the International Coffee's Irish Mocha Mint? Well, that's super rare now. I don't honestly I don't know much about coffee. I don't. Like if you give me a cup of coffee and you're like this is garbage coffee and this is good coffee and I get to try both of them, I'm going to be like, "Yup." It's coffee. I don't care. I, I don't I don't care. I think I've discovered that I like dark roasts. I like that flavor. That uh that like yeah, whatever whatever that flavor is of a dark roast. I like that. It's very nice. But aside from that, I don't know anything other than like Yep, that tastes like coffee. Yep, yep. I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Sumatra Colombian, sure. Those are two different countries. Sumatra is in a different country than Colombia. Sumatra does. Is doesn't Sumatra have like the civet cat poop coffee? Isn't Suma some of the Sumatran coffee the the poop the poop beans? I don't want the poop beans. Sumatra is a uh, city in Southeast Asia. Is it Malaysia? Sumatra is not in Colombia. Colombia, Colombian coffee is wholly different than Sumatran coffee. The poop cat, no, the poop cat is like Sumatra. That's not Colombia. That's, that's the, it's south, that's why I asked, is Sumatran coffee the poop cat? Uh, civet, civet cat coffee, civet cat coffee. Kopi Luwak. Indonesia. Yeah, it could be. Or the Philippines. It's called Kopi Luwak. And it's stupid expensive. That's the only reason why I know of it, is that it's, like, insanely expensive. Sumatra's in Indonesia. God, I don't know why I was thinking Malaysia. Well. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking Malaysia. It did. It's not like all Southeastern Asian island countries are the same. That's what I'm talking about. Thunder Raja with 42 months. Is this the is this the last month? <laughs> is, this, is this the last month? But thank you for 42 months, dude. I really appreciate that. You got one more? Hell yeah, man. Spend it on me. Has been hotel with an ad blocker. What's has been? Has been. 
But thank you so much, Thunder Roger, for sticking around for 42 months, man. I really appreciate that. That's three and a half years. That's a long time, man. That's a long ass time. All your stuff but the one quarter inch RCA cables came today and you temporarily hooked up two individual quarter inch RCAs. The amp's amazing. Nice. It's a lot of accidental button clicks. It's a lot of accidental button clicks. It's a lot of accidental button clicks. It makes me think that maybe you're doing it on purpose now. You forgot how much better floor speakers were than PC speakers? Most speakers are better than PC speakers. The fight stick is cool. Got to Galactus first try on it. Had to kind of relearn the buttons. He still killed you. Boots fit great. Hell yeah, man. All that sounds great. Amp is dope. Fight stick is dope. Boots are good. Hell yeah. Who's Galactus? Why are you fighting him? What's a PC speaker? I hear by putting a thing on my head. Exactly. That's exactly how you hear. You got it. You're doing it right. It's the only way to do it. There's one way and it's that way. You have two more speakers to hook up. Can you find and buy a wire? Need another subwoofer. I've got a speaker system hooked up to my everything. So I get, I get solid audio. I've had this speaker system for 20 years. It's dope as hell. I thought, I thought that it got fried. There was a component. Sometimes when the power goes out, the... I don't know what you call it. The thing that all the speakers are hooked into, like the auxiliary device, uh, it sometimes flips out when the power goes out and it won't turn on. And there's like something inside of an amplifier. I don't think, I don't think it's an amplifier. I don't know what it is. It's what all the speakers are hooked into and what everything else is hooked into. Maybe. I don't think they call it an amplifier, like a five in one. Yeah, it's like a five in one thing. But the, the device like freaks out when the power cuts out from time to time and I thought the thing died. It's got proprietary cables, so I don't know what I would do. Like, the speakers are good, but I don't know what I would do if those... If that system died. Like, it's all proprietary. It's a Sony system. And it's all proprietary. Like, everything Sony's proprietary. I got it. I got it super cheap on a Black Friday. And I was like, oh, okay, this is really cool. It's probably just the connectors that are proprietary. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's what I meant by the wires was like whatever connects from the. Sure, amplifier to the speakers. The The connectors are definitely proprietary. They definitely are. I could probably wire them. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. The stereo speakers is wonderful, and you're betting on the boombox speakers. Boombox. Boom, boombox. Yes. The EQ and tape work on the rack system. You know what the funny thing is? Is that the, uh, the way this, since the amplifier is so old, um, you have to actually hook the amplifier up to a television so that you can adjust any sort of the EQ. <laughs> and 
and uh so it doesn't have like any sort of like hd output <laughs> it just has like standard standard like rca cables <laughs> that it plugs into and uh tvs really don't have that option so it's kind of a uh, coaxial I don't think that I could get an image from it through coaxial. I don't think I could get an image from it. I think you could put one in there, but I don't I don't think that you could put coaxial in there. I don't think that would do anything. I don't think it has an input. There's no output for coaxial. Coaxial's for like cable and stuff. I think it has an input for it, but there is no output, so that wouldn't work. You have to use, like, the the standard uh, RCA cables. My TV, like, I think it has S, uh, S input as well. And I don't think it, I don't think S inputs on, like, my TV or anything. I think the only thing that I could do would be... So, yeah, whatever, whatever the, the amplifier is set at, it has to be at. <laughs> I can't I can't really change it now. I would have to find a way to lug up a uh or or move this to a place that has a uh CRT TV <clears throat> to be able to hook it up to something. It's kind of stupid that they don't let you mess with the EQ. Like, there's like 4,000 buttons on the controller, and it's weird that they don't let you mess with the EQ on the... It's, it, has a, it has a digital screen interface, like an LCD screen interface. It's weird that they don't let you do it from there. You have to hook it up to a TV through its output, which is weird. CD, DVD, and auxiliary inputs. FM. Yeah. I think coaxial's only... Only input. I don't think it's ever output. There might be. You're super happy, sweet dude. I'm glad, I'm glad you have some good purchases. What have you been getting into, Thunder Raja? What kind of, what kind of fun things have you been doing? The fight stick's a little light. You can always add weight to it. You can open up the fight stick and put in your own weight. I've heard people complain about that before with fight sticks, and you just open them up and put some weights in the bottom of it. Make your life good that way. Been doing crimes with Pow World. Pow World looked horrible to me i feel like they like lied to everyone about what power world was gonna be it looked like pokemon with guns and then they were like wait no it's minecraft i feel like they duped people it seems it seems like nobody gives a shit it's more like pokemon stuff welcome but their their initial uh sales trailer felt very much uh Dubious. Power World is Ark with Pokemon instead of dinosaurs. I feel like you like to compare a lot of things to uh, Ark. Not everything is Ark Axe Man. I didn't even think about our yes you did Go ahead. yes you did you just said it that was awesome. But how are you enjoying it? Aside from like the the strong comparisons to like Pokemon and that, how are you enjoying Power World? Does it do like the 
the life simulation in a way that's like satisfying. I don't know why I was waiting there. The guest was seated. The way they dropped a whole nother game on the same engine while Ark was still in EA. Yes, we've talked about that. You did. When we talked about Power World the other day. There isn't much depth. Well, it's an early access. You're not really holding your breath for updates, though. I'll come again. Oh, baby! You're welcome. Oh, baby! Go ahead. That was so much cute. The only other arc reference was the Power World. I feel like we've talked about Ark before. At least maybe we haven't directly you and I talked about it, but I have I have definitely heard other people mention Ark in the stream before. Take your time. This club kind of sucks. Take your time. I didn't. Mordheim, the Viking survival crafting. That was very Ark like. I feel like Ark wasn't the first game to do that though. Like, what was, what's the first, like, couldn't you, couldn't you compare it to, like, say, Harvest Moon? What was the first, like, style of game like that? I feel like Ark was not the first one that ever did that. I feel like Ark was, like, copying other things as well, yeah? I don't think Ark was ever the first one to do that. Survival crafting and tameable monsters. Yeah. I don't know what Ark is. I just feel like... Well, it looks like crafting is like the main thing that Power World has going for it, And everything else there is an afterthought. Like, it's like, okay, we have a crafting game and we added Pokemon to it. Is that is that a fair assessment? All right, so what would make Pokemon fans jealous? Okay, we need to buy some uh, items here. What are what are Pokemon fans jealous of? The Pokemon become part of your automation stream. Automation stream. What are you automating? What was it again? Everyone's out today. Oh, that was so much fun. See you tomorrow. Where am I going? The wrong direction. That's where I'm going. Oh, sorry. I need to go to the market. I went the wrong way. You're crafting assembly line. So the monsters you capture can do tasks and stuff Welcome. for you. Thank you. Arceus was the oh. biggest jump away from tried and true Pokemon formula. Yeah, I saw some people play some Arceus. And Power World is even further from that while still having some similar gameplay. Interesting. You make them harvest and build stuff. I got gotcha. you. Ah, 
honestly, I mean, I didn't really have much of an interest in Pal World, but I tuned in to watch somebody play some of it. And as soon as I saw that they were wandering around a big open world and chopping down yes. trees and hitting rocks, I went, oh, yeah, I don't care about this. Like, I already had very little interest in it, but once I saw that it was like a survival crafting type thing, any sort of possible interest went flying out the window. I was just like, yeah, I don't think this is going to be for me. I don't, I don't think that's a style of game that I, I tolerate well. We'll make you happy before you... You know what? Screw it. You're going to work while you're sad. You're going to work while you're sad, Susan. You finally thought Terraria was going to hit, and it didn't, though. I've never played Terraria. I've watched a, some people play some of it, and it doesn't look like it's a game for me. Go ahead. I feel like that's most games. <laughs> Milk that man. Milk him good. Milky milky cereal. Milky milky cereal. Take your time. It was just super frustrating. I don't I don't know what I would say. It, Terraria reminded me of just like 2D Minecraft. I don't know if that's being like mean to it or an appropriate comparison. I think some people have said that it's got a bit more focus on like combat than Minecraft does, but at the end of the day, it's like a crafting game at its core, and that doesn't appeal to me. Once I see survival mechanics in a game, I go, yeah, I want to play that. There's certain game mechanics that just largely don't appeal to me. Not to say that a game couldn't have those mechanics in them and still be something that does appeal to me, but largely when I see survival mechanics in a game, I go, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> you weren't doing the wrong thing. Wasn't letting you finish the right thing. Felt like crafting wasn't to craft better, it was to fight better. Remember to keep your hunger bar full. Well, yeah, you do more damage and you're more efficient at mining when you keep your hunger bar full, but finding food is impossible. It's a very rare commodity, edible food. You can find some food that'll like partially heal you, but it doesn't give you the full boost. Good food is rare. Siri, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I've never played these games. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Ah, I almost got more money. The FPS roguelike, we'd all starve on level three. I've never heard of it. 
But then again, I haven't heard of like 90% of roguelikes. Please. Roguelikes are like the new Metroidvania. Like every couple of days, a new roguelike roguelite is coming out. Oh. It's starting yes. to feel like the market is uh, overly saturated. They're all super indie. <laughs> They're all super indie. You don't have to. I'm not. I'm not a roguelike person. <laughs> that is not something. The, the only roguelike we've played, I guess, two roguelikes on stream. Yeah, we've played Vampire Survivors, which is crack. That game is insanely fun. That game is just absolutely wonderfully amazing. And uh, 20XDX. And. That game also is pretty damn fun. I can I can say with pretty strong assurity that uh, 20XC... Oh, you know what? I played a little bit of uh, Spelunky. I hated Spelunky. Go ahead. Spelunky was abysmal. I was, was not a fan of the Spelunksters. Good evening. Take your time. Snakes. I hate snakes. I hate how that just game is designed to just, just fuck you time. over everywhere. You just have to get good at like recognizing things. Like there's traps in the ground that you're just never gonna see. And you're gonna run into them and they're insta kills and you're just like, okay, great. Cool. This is good. This is good. This is exactly what I like. You know? Spelunky's dirty. <laughs> Spelunky is a game about, like, fucking you over. I've seen some people play Spelunky really well, and it is amazing watching people play Spelunky well. Like, it's really cool watching somebody just absolutely destroy Spelunky. Like, genuinely cool watching that. Sorry to keep you. Go ahead. Like, I, I definitely enjoyed watching, you know, people, like, master that game and tear it a new one. Very dope. I just, I don't have patience for something like that. That style of gameplay is just a mite bit too repetitive for my case. Take your time. A might do. R type Gradius? What? You don't like Spelunky because of the time limit? It's an exploration game? It's a quick exploration game. Counter attack is mostly a horizontal shmup. Yep, that sounds awful. A shmup roguelike? That sounds abysmal. That sounds abysmal. God damn. I got these rechargeable batteries and they do not like being in my mouse. My other rechargeable batteries died and I have to charge them up and they, the ones that I put in there. I have Eneloop and Amazon Basics and the Amazon Basics hate being inside my my mouse. They do not like being in there. You played it a lot, but you didn't 100% it. It's a brutal game, man. It's a brutal game. Spelunky's brutal. Brutal. I watched some people do one oh, and right two here. and do like the like oh, secret exits to those okay. where you have to like beat like a oh, hundred levels of like random garbage. And they're just flying around those levels. Like, I don't even know what the hell they're doing. Like, avoiding damage. But it's like this long, like, drawn out process of trying to get to those levels. So you can get whatever the mega super secret ending. Yes, yes. Well, 
That's cool watching people do that. That was fun watching people destroy that game. Oh, give me that Take milk. Time. I'll come again. Thank you. Dead Cells, Nova Drift, Rogue Stormers, Neon Abyss, kind of unbalanced. I think I've seen somebody play some Neon Abyss before. I think I've seen somebody play Neon Abyss. I mean, I own some. I'm just never going to play them. A lot of roguelike games are about learning patterns and avoiding damage. They're about repetition. Yes, I mean, that's what roguelikes are built around is repetition. Do the same thing again and again until you improve. And... I don't mind that idea of learning to get better at the game, but I want to be making progress. I don't want to constantly start over at the first level every fucking time. That, to me, is not the kind of thing that I enjoy. That's, it's, that's very reminiscent. Roguelikes are very reminiscent of, like, old-school, like, Nintendo hard games. You get, like, two lives, no continues. You have to beat the entire game in one sitting. You know, no passwords, no saves. And it's just like this brutal fucking game, you know, where you just have to sit there, grind it out. It's battle toads. Like roguelikes are like fucking battle toads, you know. You have a set amount of lives. That's all you get, and you just get fucked at every corner, and it's brutally hard. And I don't like the fact that I'm like starting over at the beginning, like. The progress that you see is very slow and incremental and having to play the same first level over and over and over and over again. Yeah, and I mean, I know there's a bit of hypocrisy in what I'm saying because we're repeating things over and over again here, but there is like, there's a difference. There is a very distinct difference. I don't have the words to describe it, but there's progress being made here in a way that I can enjoy it. Whereas progress in a roguelike is not something that I find satisfying. The, the way you see yourself make progress, I don't see that as satisfying. Like you get to like see yourself take a step forward and go, okay, we saw slightly further into the game. We saw slightly Judy. further into the game and that's cool. Judy. But that's not my idea of where I gain, like, satisfaction of playing a game. Like, I like it when my progress is rewarded, not uh, punished. In, ro in a lot of roguelikes, you're severely punished for making progress because you don't know what's coming up. And so you can't... Oh, so scary. Put the wrong lady on the table. This is a kind of progress you can see yourself making. You know, and feel feel satisfied about making that progress, but not losing anything at the same time. In a lot of roguelikes, you're punished for making progress because there's stuff that you would never know or see coming in a million years. And the games are designed around them. And so that's that's not my kind of cup of tea. I like a good challenge, but that's not the kind of challenge that I find satisfying. Though it is fun to watch people that enjoy roguelikes and see them play the games well. Like, I had a fun time watching people play, like, Enter the Gungeon, Thunder Roger. We've talked about that game before. 
I've had a fun time watching people play Hades and uh, what do you call it? Uh, Binding of Isaac. I would never in a million years play Binding of Isaac. That does not look like something I would ever play. Enter the Gungeon is not something I think I would ever enjoy playing either. But watching other people play those games and be good at them, that's cool. If I could get Hades for like $2, I would totally pick it up and play it. I am sure that game is worth it at full price, but it's it's a style of game that I know I don't enjoy. So while everybody sits around recommending it, I can look at a game and go, I know that's not a game that I'm going to have a lot of fun playing. But given the fact that so many people enjoy it, maybe it does have something that I could possibly take away from it. So I'm willing to try it. But I'm not willing to pay $25 for a game that I'm pretty sure that's a style that I don't enjoy. Yeah, Gungeon is awesome. Not the only person I've heard say it, man. I know people love themselves some Enter the Gungeon. Cool concept. I don't think it's something that I would enjoy playing, but it's definitely a cool concept. Especially if you like, you know, top-down twin-stick shooters. 40%'s not enough. Gungeon's okay. The fighting spaces are too tight. Same as Nuclear Throne. Never heard of Nuclear Throne. You just feel encumbered by the playfield? Well, that's why you gotta get good. You enjoyed the vanilla Isaac, but you didn't buy into the DLC and re-release? Many roguelites have two progression systems, long-term progression and temporary. Well, there's roguelike. Like and roguelite with a T. I know. Spelunky is a roguelike. Spelunky has zero progression system, whereas something like Isaac has a bit of a pro progression system where you're unlocking abilities and equipment and stuff like that. Yeah. So in something, something like Rogue Legacy would appeal to me more than something like Spelunky. I've played some Dead Cells. I'm not a huge fan of Dead Cells. Dead Cells is kind of like an in-between. Yes. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think I beat the game in early access, but I haven't touched it since then. I, I was not a huge fan of it. Like, everyone was just like, dude, it's Metroid! It's a Metroidvania roguelike! And I was like, cool, Metroidvania roguelike, that sounds cool. It's not Metroidvania at all <laughs> at, at all it is a level based game that is not a metroidvania i can't go back to areas and pick up things that i missed if i can't do that then it's not a metroidvania maybe it takes some like castlevania inspiration like early nintendo castlevania inspiration but that's where the, that's where the line is is that doesn't go beyond that Rogue in Dreadmore in Tome have you starting a character every game? Um oh she's sad. She's sad. Let's cheer up. Cheer up bright. Feeling down. Thanks. Get back to work. Here's some cocaine. I mean, you're level zero every time, except for you being better. Right, I mean, that's the point of a rogue-like. That's, that's spelunky. You start out and your progression is the knowledge you've acquired. That, to me, is not satisfying. I don't want to be punished in that regard. I don't find that kind of style of gameplay, for me personally, to be satisfying. Take your time. That's something that I am very happy that as like game people complain about games getting easier, but I say they're more friendly to the player. I don't want to constantly be punished even though I've made progress. I don't like that. One, I don't want to waste my time and stuff like that. Like 
that style of gameplay is a very much a holdover from like old arcade games which i feel like yeah all right you can say games have gotten easier i say that they've gotten friendlier to the player they don't they don't go out of your way to waste your time And so, yeah. So there's a there's a certain style of gameplay that I feel like, you know, being fair to the player is something that I appreciate more. And so there's there but there's a crowd for the roguelike style of gameplay. Some people like having their dicks ripped off. I like having my dick ripped off to an extent. But it's it's not like I want you to use my dick as a punching bag. <laughs> like I'm all for some some fun dick ripping to an extent. Some fun in the sun. Not exactly what I wanted. Is a true roguelike the potions are different? Every run to everything is different. There's nothing that would stay the same. A roguelike is basically hitting the reset button on a video game. So what 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 roguelike would be is like you're playing Mega Man and you die to you die in Gutsman stage, so reset button, you start over. No lives, no anything. You died once, boom, you're starting it over again. Fresh run again. That's that's a roguelike. There's there's but then roguelikes have randomized things like randomly generated levels and randomly generated item spawn points and enemy spawn points. It's more than that, but yeah, it's just hitting the reset button on a game over and over again and starting directly from a beginning with whatever randomly generated seed you have going on. So if there is somewhat of a progression system, then that becomes rogue light. You're watching for a 30xdx sale? Dude, I would love a 30xdx sale. I'm down. I'm down. I want to play more 20xdx at some point. I definitely want to play more of that. Because that game is a ton of fun. It is a dope as hell game that certainly deserves more attention for sure. You heard Noida is popular lately? Yeah, I've watched some people play Noida. I've also watched some people like absolutely rage quit Noida. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some people very unhappy with the game. I've seen some people absolutely love it. It seems like it has an insanely in-depth mechanics. Oh. Like, really intense, tough mechanics. Well, not tough, yes. but, like, mind-numbingly complicated mechanics. Like, shit going on behind the scenes. But you can make, like, some crazy builds and stuff like that. I've watched some people, like, sit there and try to explain to, like, Twitch chat, like, what they're doing and how things operate. My eyes gloss over. I'm like, oh, God, like, what the hell are you even talking about here? But, yeah, it looks... It, if you like those kind of in-depth, like, build, like, like making your build and seeing it come to fruition knowing the items that you need dropped it's not even knowing them it's just knowing the vast variety the mass 
you know, the vast variety of like the item pool and how you can combine things and what you're going to get from them. I mean, it looks interesting once you get a handling on it, but it also looks like it's for a very niche set of person. <laughs> You've watched some Noida and it looks cool, but not for you, yet yeah, definitely not for me. It zoomed out a little bit more and looks really good. Nice. Annoyed is that one falling sand flash game everyone played 20 years ago, but turned into a proper tough game. Falling sand flash game. Can't say I know it, man. Can't say I knows it. Noida looks like one of those where you can break your build and still kill yourself. I didn't play too many flash games. I was in college, and you Take would think time. that that would have been, like, the thing that you would have Thank you for waiting. Made, made me happy as, like, a gamer, like, going on to, I don't know, Newgrounds and playing some shit, but I didn't. I played, you know what I played? I played Spades. That's what I did in college. Yahoo Games had Spades, and so I played Spades. And they had pool. So Yahoo Games, I played Flash games, but I played I played pool and I played space. That's what I did. Take your time. So I wasn't playing, you know, like the binding of Isaacs and stuff like that in cave story and shit. I was I was playing spades. <laughs> this is great. I feel How long must I wait? I welcome. Thanks. Take your time. That was so much fun. See you later. Awesome. Welcome. Ready to go ahead. How long must I wait? Boy, that guy threw things off for me there. Sorry. This guy right here on the right. That messed me up. That booger was a surprise. I didn't have the appropriate ladies to help him. He was a monkey wrench in the cog. Most of the flash games you played were tower defense. We were huge on spaces. Eventually learned hearts just to change it up. Hearts is a lot like uh, spades. I know how. I know the basics of hearts. Hearts is almost like identical to it. There's like a slight variation to hearts, I think, that's not the same as spades, but they're basically the same thing. I remember my parents used to play hearts all the time, and then I learned spades, and I was like, wow, this is a lot like hearts, and then like all my friends made fun of me, and I was like, okay, so nope. So I'm just comparing spades to hearts. <laughs> we played some gin rummy. Gin rummy's an interesting game. It's definitely an old ladies game, but... Gin Rummy's not a bad game. I've played my fair share of Gin Rummy. I don't mind that. Arts is like spades, but you don't want books unless you're gonna take them all. Yeah. Just a slightly different variation. It's cool that like you have like this very similar styled game. Oh! I'm an idiot. Oh god. I lost the... I lost the fucking cursor, man. Somehow or another, I lost the cursor. 
hurt my brain there. Except the Jack of Diamonds, you always want him. We played a little bid, whist, and bridge. I know bridge. But, I mean, I'm not talking about just like card games. I'm talking about Yahoo. Yahoo were the Flash games. Not just like, okay, here's card games that I know. I was just saying specifically those were the Flash games I were I, I was playing back when like Flash games were like all the rage. I didn't I never played anything on Newgrounds. I knew of Newgrounds and I had like gone there once or twice to see what it was about and I was just like this stupid. <laughs> this stupid. How many more times do we have to do this? Where, what number am I at? We need to do three more. We're almost done here. Then we'll go do something else. We'll actually go play the game. It was TD, which was what you were doing tower defense. A lot of people liked it. Game gets fun after 40 hours. Well, this is optional. I don't have to do this. It's just to like, Good evening. one, we get a ton of money by doing this. And two, uh, it's to like fulfill a sub side quest mission thing we have a hundred million dollars in debt to some old lady because we broke her purse purse her we broke her vase and so we have to we have to pay her back a hundred million dollars see you next time and it's all just to like fulfill this one sub quest So, in the meantime, I want to do over. Pretty cute. Pretty cute, board. Enjoy ourselves. I see. My apologies. Best day ever. Good evening. I'll come again. So, I mean, if we ever need money, this is obviously like the quickest way to get money. In three minutes, I can get a million dollars. So if there's like something I would like to purchase for myself that's expensive, then we just run this little mini game here and I can, and I can get all the dollary dues that I need. So this one's purely just for shits and gigs, you know? I don't have to do this. It's fine. I mean, it's mindless. And then we do a couple more of these and then we actually go, like, play the game. And we'll go beat some stuff up and we'll go race our buggy. Well, I guess not race. Maybe we can eventually get the races. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was waiting for it to count down. That was the wrong time to wait for it to count down. Whoops. I made a boo boo. When there's a face there, you don't want it counting down. That's the bad one. Take your time. That was so much fun. Awesome. Take your time. We need Hina and Emma working all the tables that they can. I'll come again. Thank you. Awesome. Good evening. 
They're the ones that make them big dollars. Alright. Never know when you need a couple million yen. Uh, well, it's called IDL in this game. International Downloads. I don't know what it stands for. It's called IDL. But yen. Yeah, sure, yen. Totally. Totes my goats. Oh. We just do two more. I'm just going to yes. do them ten at a time. And we'll go, like, do shit in between. We have to do... 80 of these missions. 90 of these missions? 90? To pay off our debt. So we'll just do it a little bit at a time. I'm so happy. And we'll eventually find our way towards paying it off. See, I still have 82 million. I still have 82 million to pay off. So it's gonna it's gonna be a hot minute till we're there. So I figure if we do like 10 missions in chunks every so often for like a half hour, Welcome. you know? Go ahead. Over the course of the rest of the game, we'll eventually knock it out, you You're know? My type. Good day. It's fine. It's fine. Good evening. I get why this is in here. Well, I mean, not this. This mission is just fucking tedious as hell. But I understand why, like, this is in here. It's, this is, like, the easiest way to make money in the game. And it's to break up monotony. Like, having mini games in these games is great. Especially when it's something that, like, you know, is your kind of bag. Okay. I made a mistake there. Best day ever. That was awesome. This club. I won't wait. Come again, very welcome. You're hot. Thank you for waiting. Pretty cute. Let's begin, shall we? You're hot. That was awkward. Go ahead. Sorry. You're hot. I shouldn't have done that. You found you're getting to skim off the top. No, they just kind of give it to you. It's not really skimming off the top. They're just, hey, here's, here's 20%. This is just our, like, payment for working. But also, yeah, totally skimming off the top. We're, uh, we're fixing the books. We're, we're, we're fixing the books. Don't question it. Don't question it. The book fixes in. The fix is in, baby. Take your time. That was awesome. The fix is in, and it's in our favor. Don't tell anyone, but as an APAR specialist, You know how to do that shit? You know how to scam an accounting? Anyone that's in accounting knows how to take advantage of that. Total profit. They won't even show us our total profit anymore. Once it hits 100 million, it won't go above it. That's funny. 
Accounts payable and receivable. I got you. It's where the money goes. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you know how to hide them dollar dues. Find them dollar dues. All right, we do it one more time, right? Yes. It's where the money flows. But don't do it, though. But don't do it. All right, everyone's fine. All right, the last time we got to do this for a while. But then we'll have so many dollars, though. Welcome. I'm going to be a rich bitch. Time. And people will be like, wow, you're so rich. And I'll be like, I know. Good to meet you. I'm going to make it rain. Like it was Spain. And we were on the planes. Take your time. Thanks a bunch. Because of the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plains. And when I say rain, I mean duck it. I'm talking about them ducats. That was really fun. My bad. See you later. Just my time. Welcome. I'm talking about them ducats. Really fun. I made a deposit at the bank for two hundred seventy thousand dollars. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's an amount of money. Welcome. Take your time. You're hot. Thank you for waiting. You're hot. Always a pleasure. Oh, pretty cute. Awesome. Welcome. Wonderful. Gimme. Gimme. Gimme your money, son. Karate Chop! I'm not gonna lie, I thought about Mexico. It's a lot of money, man. Uh, one evening, we were uh, doing a deposit. And my buddy was just like, all right, whoever guesses how much money is in the till tonight, if you get it exactly correct, we'll take it and we'll go to Vegas. Go ahead. You know, just joking around. And somehow, like, I didn't, I didn't just get it correct. I got it down to the cent correct. I just guessed a holy random number and got it down to the exact scent and i was like this is this is my one and only moment i wasted it not on the lottery to ever guess something correct it was not on the lottery is a waste it's a sheer waste but it was cool <laughs> cool moment to guess the exact amount of money that you know we were going to make a deposit for it was checks so that's like 50 to 60k right marrying lucy lou would that eat it whatever i mean it, lucy lou is in my first choice but yo man i mean if she was like yo let's get married is not like i would tell her no How dare you, Lucy, lose everyone's first choice, true. Ha-ha!
Yeah. Does any... Whatever good luck I had coming towards me... Uh, is all gone because I guess the amount of money in a till correctly. Once. That's it. It's all done. That's all you got. That was everything. Beautiful and deadly, just like me. I'm I'm beautiful and deadly for different reasons. I have a beautiful personality and I have deadly gas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me. What? <laughs> Fresh meat. You weren't in X versus Sever. Thank you kindly. What? <laughs> Welcome. I wasn't in X versus Sever. What's what's that? I don't I don't know what that is. All right, we're gonna buy one of these. I think. Thank you kindly. All right, are the pauldrons I just bought better? All right, well, overall, we got slightly less overall defense, but we got more defense towards blades and shots. That'll be fine. That'll, that'll be fine. Lucy Liu versus Antonio Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. I like Antonio Banderas. I didn't want to save, I wanted to use the item box! Yes, cancel saving. Yes! Why would I say that? Why do you have four prompts that say cancel saving? Jesus. There's less prompts to say, are you sure you want to save? Prices of items in Junk District will go down. Blows enemies away when Kenshiro gets knocked down. Burst mode attack increases when star of death glows. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that. Let's put that away. IDL in battle? I don't care about IDL. Helps you gather information about the people of Eden's troubles. Oh, that could be helpful. Some of that stuff could definitely be helpful. All right, let's save, and then let's go do it. You liked her in Lucky Number 7? Lucky Number 7 is awesome. I still don't know what X versus Sever is. You've irrationally hated Banderas since Desperado. Because it was an El Mariachi remake. Why would you hate either movie? Do you are you just angry because he got with Selma Hayek and you like Selma Hayek because I like Selma Hayek? I'll fight you. Ken. Yo. <laughs> I didn't like his take on that character it was his character what do you mean i didn't like the way they played the character that was created for him that he created okay i liked all three of the movies el mariachi desperado and once upon a time in mexico they were all fantastic Him and Robert Re Robert Rodriguez created the character. <laughs> they, the two of them created the character. Yeah. 
Hey. Looks like you're ready to roll. Hmm. Let's roll. Actually, there's one problem. The cursed village is along the path leading west. But the terrain's way too rocky for any old tires. We'll have to get our mitts on some sturdier treads. We don't have any all-terrain vehicles. No. They're all tied up right now. I see. Then what's our next move? Last time I souped up a patrol vehicle, we went to the mechanic in Highland Village. They ought to have some Good. tougher tires. We can go there right now. Yeah, let's do it. But they're all... Robert Rodriguez? Wait. I thought Antonio Banderas was an El Mariachi. I've seen that movie. <laughs> Robert Rodriguez directed it and it starred Antonio Banderas. Oh, man. It's been so long since I've watched it. Well, it wasn't... It wasn't Banderas. It was Carlos Gallardo. So, you're also wrong, along with me. <laughs> so, no, it wasn't... Robert Rodriguez does not act. He's a director. <laughs> I was positive it wasn't Rodriguez. I was positive it wasn't him. My brain said it was it was Antonio Banderas because I saw Desperados first, then I saw El Mariachi when I heard that there was a prequel. And for whatever reason, my brain has just told me for years that it was Banderas. It wasn't. And it hits the Mandela effect of your brain. Yeah. I knew, I knew it wasn't Robert Rodriguez. Like, I was dead set and positive about that. I really thought it was Banderas. Banderas. You know the name? I don't think I've ever seen yeah. that guy before. He did not look familiar to me. Which means the only time I've seen him is in El Mariachi. Or at least the only time that I can think that I've ever seen him before because he does not look familiar. He was in Desperado and in Once Upon a Time in Mexico. He's been in a fair amount of things. He's a handsome gentleman, too. He hasn't been in a ton of stuff, but he's been in a fair amount of things he was in grindhouse in planet terror well okay he was in planet terror he was in planet terror so he he's worked with robert rodriguez a couple of times he was in dead hooker in a trunk that's a great movie the hell is dead hooker in a trunk i want to watch that it's an exploitation movie i don't know what that is but i want to watch it now <laughs> It's like Hobo with a Shotgun. Why wouldn't I want to watch that? Dead Hooker in a Trunk? You've got me. My misplaced hate is even more misplaced than I already knew. Yeah, stop hating on Antonio Banderas. That guy is awesome. Okay, in just in the movies. Hobo wasn't as good as it should have been. Yeah, I know. It was better than it should have been. That movie was fucking awesome. Rutger Howard just going around, blowing up shit. With a shotgun. Well, shooting up shit with a shotgun. It was great. It was great. You saw Machete again. Machete. I don't know that I've ever... I think I've seen Machete. Did that have Lindsay Lohan in it? If Machete had Lindsay Lohan in it, then I remember watching it. If it didn't, I don't remember watching it. Hobo 
can't lick blind fury's balls the interesting statement ready to go when you good are. just take us due west highland village here we come no way out of here west i think we've been to highland village before we might be able to just walk uh maybe don johnson robert de niro i know danny trejo's in it he's machete i don't remember robert de niro or don johnson <laughs> not saying you're not right just saying i don't remember i really thought that it had lindsay lohan in it because i'm pretty sure there's boobies in that movie and i thought that them boobies was Lindsay Lohan's boobies, but I could be wrong. Don was the sheriff. Ah, right. You make these words and you say them and then I go, right, yes, I remember this. more than one. Oh, well, I mean, there were, there were multiple females in the movie, for sure. I just feel like that was, like, one of, like, the last big movies, I think, Lindsay Lohan, and I say big. Being very loose, but that Lindsay Lohan had before she just kind of, like, really disappeared. Like, I feel like Lindsay Lohan got, like, abducted or something like that. I might be conflating movies. I do that from time to time. Tom Savini. I'm pretty sure Tom Savini did the makeup in that, or the special effects. Steven Seal? I have no idea who that is. That is a name I've never heard in my entire life. Who's, who's Steven Seal? Is that somebody I'm supposed to know? Like, Tom Savini isn't a huge name either, unless you know horror movies. If you don't know horror movies, then you would have no idea who the hell Tom Savini is. Tom Savini is a big name in doing, like, makeup for horror movies in, like, the 80s and 90s. I, well, I mean, that's when, like, he, like, really got big. Even he remade uh, uh, Night of the Living Dead in like the 80s as well. But yeah, I mean, unless unless you 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 follow horror movies, people are gonna have no idea who Savini is. If you've seen uh, From Dust Till Dawn, he's the guy in the bar that's got like the gun in his crotch. <laughs> that's, that's Tom Savini, which I feel is fairly memorable. You just saw it? You just saw what? Oh, Steven Seagal, not Steven Seal. Oh, okay. Because that hurt my brain. I was like, I have no idea who Steven Seal is. Oh my god, man. This thing controls so horribly. Practical effects. Yeah, he's known for his practical. I have no idea how to control this monster. He was in the Spider-Man movies too? Like the Sam Raimi ones? I don't remember who he was in those. I'm sure it was just a bit part. I don't remember. Yeah, well that's because Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi, you know, they do their thing together. They, they're bosom buddies. Oh! I shouldn't have gone for the items! Damn it. Just crowd shit? I mean, yeah, he might have been. I, I don't know. Oh, 
I looked away from the screen for half a second and that's when the button prompt came up. Actually playing the game when you're playing the game it's fun this so much more fun than doing You know, if I were the computer, that's the only button I would hit, is to knock the character down every time they get up. Why would you hit any other button? Okay, I was not ready for any of that. You gotta be ready, man. I was not ready for any of them buttons. None of them. This is a big old zero. Good. Hey, you pops. Long time no see. Who you calling pops, old man? Always happy to have you, Captain. But we're a little busy here. Something happened. One of our elders went out and hasn't come back. We're prepping a car for the search party. He just up and vanished? Ask the mayor about it. I've got work to do. Wait, let me give you a hand. Can't you can chat up the mayor? Uh, you, you got it? You have a mayor? Let's get some towns really kicking off. I feel like you don't have a mayor. <laughs> She's beautiful. Maybe I should try scouting her. Hmm? You want to work at the nightclub? Nightclub? You mean the one in Eden? I'd love to. I've always wanted to work there. My name's Satomi. Pleased to meet you. That was easy as hell. That was easy as hell. I just recruited the shit out of that lady. I was just like, yo, you want to get a job? And she was like, fuck yeah, I love job. That was awesome. What happened? Hmm. We're facing a famine, so old man Yosumi set out to gather food. But he hasn't come back. I just hope he wasn't jumped by bandits out there. You know he was. We're preparing a search party oh. right now. Speaking of which, you look like a tough customer. And you've got a buggy. Will you help look for Yosumi? Yeah. yeah. Sure thing. I'm gonna get all up on that old man's seeds. Exactly. Thank you. Yosumi headed south. You got it. I will also head south to look for Yosumi. Let's get some food. Uh, fuel up, please. Yes. I got all the money in the world. I'm not concerned about $2,000. You think I'm worried about $2,000? I am a multi-millionaire, sir. 
multi-millionaire. Need I show you my bursting wallet? It's overflowing with overflowing. Our wallet. This is the area where they lied to me about it having coal. We spent like an hour driving around out here looking for coal because the game was like, there's coal and it's plentiful out in the Western Highlands. And I came to the Western Highlands and there was zero coal. Because the game, you piece of shit, literally lied to me. All right, who's the guy that hit my car? Who the hell just hit me? Very nice. I'm sorry. So much for you. Too scared to move. Too scared to move. There. Merciful execution. Two for one. Two for one, another two for one save. I was hoping we get the big guy. What happened to uh, Jagray? I thought he was like palling around with us. Alright, back to mindlessly driving through the desert. <clears throat> at least the, the handling in the car we improved at least a little bit. It was abysmal before, now we can still kind of like control it, so. Like if I just touched like left or right, the car would just start fishtailing everywhere. Now it doesn't do that as much it still does it but i can like kind of like actually turn a little oh, okay but don't show it off sometimes it's helpful to fish tail you know when you're trying to make donuts mm, donut i wonder what that smelled like you ever been in a car when someone was doing donuts? It smells horrible. Nothing, nothing like the smell of burning rubber. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It's the most pleasant smell you'll ever smell. Spare me, please. I need 
to take these seeds home. What? Say what? Once the seeds grow, I'll share the crops with you. Just let me go until then. I worked so hard to find them. I haven't eaten in a week. <laughs> Fuck a doodle do. That just makes me want to eat them now. Huh? For God's sake, just let me go. Hey. I won't yuck your yum. I won't yuck your yum. Hey. What? Yaha! What do you want? That old man. Let him go. Oh, hell to the no. Die, fucko. Tire Fire was Calvin Klein's best selling cologne last year, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't just like make that up. Got him. He was crawling on the ground. What'd you want me to do, video game? I don't have a ground attack for yes. some reason. Thank you. Please take these to the village. What's this? Seeds. Your seeds. What? Why is he on the ground now? He was fine two seconds ago. I heard you were looking for food. I settle for seeds. No. Give a man a meal, and it's gone after he eats. Give a village seeds, and they can start a farm. Yes. Farms, deserts are known for their vast farms. We can grow crops every year. No one will have to starve. Then people won't have to fight each other for food. We can live in peace. Survive today and live tomorrow. Ten. It took me 10 days to find those seeds. Please deliver them for me. Let's take them to the village together. Yeah, he just decided to lay down. Pardon. Like, why was he lying down? Hey, I'm back with seeds. Oh. Yosumi, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hip hip hooray! Good job, Pops! No more going hungry. The village is saved! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Fertility! I don't want your fertility, old man! That's gross! You keep your damn fertility to yourself. You dirty perv. You now bear Yosumi's Star of Destiny and its fertility. Dude, hey. why? Hey, yo. Heard you found the old gaffer. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine now. Good. Good job, Ken. Yeah. Much obliged. Old man Yosumi and the mayor go way back. We're all relieved you found him. Oh, yeah. You needed some parts, right? Say the word and it's yours. We need reinforced tires to get to the cursed village. Already installed some on your patrol cars. Were they not tough enough? No. They're all being used. We'll need the wheels for that there, bad boy. You do have spares, don't you? Nope. Sorry, but we're all sold out. Every last one. Whoa! Well, fuck me sideways. You don't have any. Say, that buggy looks like it can move. Sure, this baby can hit over 200. What about it? There's a race going down south of Eden. The prize is a wild 001. It's in pretty rough shape. Those wild 001 could take you over the rockiest roads. Maybe your buggy's fast enough to win it. Mm -hmm. Didn't you say it's all beat up? No problem. You get the part. I'll fix it up good, good. as new. Sweet. Let's head back, ask around, and get in that race. What's up, a jovial shadow? I'm doing all right. How are you? Happy uh, Wednesday. Oh, shit. It's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's a day. What's today? I'm just going to hitch a ride. That's really far. Oh. Yeah, front. Let's go to front. Front sounds good. I want to go to front. Take me to front. 
Thank you. Front is a great place. Why are you watching a video of him get into the car? Is that necessary? It's too much. Oh, thank you. I know I'm beautiful. I appreciate that. That's so kind of you. It's probably the long hair that got you going. I get it. I get it. Hey! Yo, Ken, working hard or hardly working? Yeah, ran into trouble out there. Then what's the plan? Just let me know and I'll help. We gotta go off-roading for that we'll need some reinforced tires. Then all you have to do is win a wild 001 in the races. Wild one? Smart kid. We heard the same thing from a pro. Now we just got to figure out how to enter. Leave it to me. I know the dude who's running the race. I can get you guys in, no sweat. Then can I leave it up to you? Yeah. Just let me know when you're ready to race. I'm ready to race right now. I'm always ready. You like my women in all shapes? Thank you. I do come in all shapes. Round, pointy, straight. Crooked, curvy. All kinds. I got all kinds of shapes. Ken! Hey, Ken. Ready for the race? Uh, compete in a race. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Bent is bent to shape. Bent's a good shape. I'm bent. All beginner. All right. This one looks like it's a loop. A beginner course perfect for learning the basics of driving. Cool, I don't know how to drive. This race costs $2,500? Damn, that's a lot. Why is it so much? Y'all got Your buggy's durability will not automatically replenish during a race. If durability reaches zero, you'll be disqualified. Be sure to keep an eye on the durability and avoid boosting too often. I don't know how to boost. Oh, the square button boost. Whoops. Yeah, I got some BP. This is probably why... Oh, I'm out of control! This is probably why they don't want you, like, being able to, like, build up your car too much. Because they want you to, like, compete here. Okay, for some reason I didn't grab whatever the hell that thing was. Finish! Is that all? They didn't even finish. I'm a god. Yeah, that's right. They got owned, bitch. Yeah, so far the driving doesn't feel great, but maybe once we upgrade some more... And the, the controls are very loose, and it likes to fishtail. Very fishtail. Ken! That was awesome, Ken. Hey, man. Good work getting that junk part. Now we just got to get it fixed up, yeah? Yeah. All we need is two ancient rubbers and five steel wires. I'm pretty sure you can find them close to Cassandra. Sweet. All right, Ken. Let's go dumpster diving. Drive over the pillars of white light to gather materials. They only appear when they're needed during events. Materials have been spotted near Cassandra. Take the buggy that way. Hey. 
Any luck finding two ancient rubbers and five steel wires? I don't know. Do, did I? I could get three coal. I need ten coal. See, this says Western Highlands, but there literally are zero coal in Western Highlands. It's still slippery even with the best. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. Uh, can I compete in the next race? No, only this one? Well, there's no point then. I want my canned gruel. Trash. Hey. Uh, go to Wasteland. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could do another race. I was I was in a racing mood. They got me all my engine all revved up, you know. They got me all hot and bothered. And I had a, I had an itching for some racing. And then they were like, "You can't do any more racing." So this game cheated and scammed us. As it does. As it do be in. There's one thing I know about video games is that they cheat. That's something I've learned quite well. Video games, uh, be cheating. I played a lot. We always be cheating. Over to the left here. No, you stay away. No, you stay away. I forgot that we can boost. Give me this. This is my prize. They can't catch me when I be boosting. Alright, so there's a bunch of garbage out here that they want us to have. These things. Alright, this is the this is the trash they want us to pick up. Steel wire. More steel wire. Even more steel wire. You have acquired steel wire. Thank you. It was a lot of drifting. Okay, so now that I've got all the steel wire, the game didn't say you've completed everything. I'm just going to assume we've completed what the game wanted me to do. didn't say your job has been completed I'm pretty sure it's been completed I'm pretty sure we picked up the three white spots oh god where they come from Stay away, banditos. You curvy bandits. There's more on my tail. We're getting caught. My durability's low. That little bastard. 
Of course it's the little little fool. Oh, I'm so angry right now. I'm so angry I could shit. Let's get him. Uh, I forgot what button we were putting in. Oh, I see. I see them words right there. What? No, the little dude. Yeah, I get the little guy, man. Those guys are menaces. This is, this is. Well, they're all dead anyway, so... Winning? Enter more the gripping. wire crash I was like I'll go to the gas station guy I don't need to go to the gas station guy we just need to go back I think unless we had to go to Cassandra and I went all the way over there for no reason Gotta get some mods on this baby. hey two ancient rubbers and five steel wires Maybe? I don't know, man. Oh, see, I just needed to go here. I didn't need to go get the stupid... Let me equip stuff. Spikes and shit ain't got nothing on the wild one. Nice. Now we can drive to the cursed village. Thanks for everything, Bat. It's been fun. Let me know if you ever want to race again. Speak with Bat to enter drag races. Winning awards, you buggy points, BP, 
which you can trade for car parts. Okay, let's split up and get ready for the cursed village. Come hit me up when you're ready to roll. Once we get our engines in gear, there's no slowing down. I'll show you my engine if you show me yours. Okay, now I can compete. I want a competition analyze. Ah, intermediate. All right, intermediate. So you had to hit up and down. I got you. So maybe we have to win at all three levels here. tokens. I'm scared of the ramps, man. Ugh. No one's near me. I'm not grabbing that booster. Do that shit. Of scary. Is that all? Hell yeah. We did it. All right. Now we do the advanced. I just have to beat one minute. That's what it says the track record is, and that's what we've done. So if we get a wrench, I get, I get all of my, uh, whatever, armor boost back. Okay, don't hit that. Got it. I can't see because the camera is horrible. Alright. What's up, Boxy? How you doing, dude? Is that all? I wish the camera was a little bit more tilted forward. One of my biggest pet peeves in a lot of driving games is when they adjust your camera for you. If I set the camera to an angle, I want it to stay there. I hate when games fuck with your camera angle. This is how I want the camera. No, you want it like this. I don't want to look up my own ass. I want to see the road. Want to see the road? All right. Well, we did. We did it. We did all three. So I'm a god now. I guess we have to find these other ones. I think that's what they need you to do is find them. Enter this race by visiting the Western Highlands. Unavailable. Unavailable. All right, so we need to we need to enter this race by visiting the Western Highlands. We know where that one is. I didn't realize that was going to be a race. Cool. 
How goes life on this fine Tuesday, Moxie? You ready for your Wednesday? Hump day? Hump, hump, hump. I get the hump out your back. 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 Ken! Okay. I want to get some... I want to trade this in for some coal. I think we needed eight. I think that's how much I needed. Let's see what my... thing says. I think it says eight. Just waking up to my sweet voice. Damn, that's nice. Thank you. Damn, oh, that's nice. I need a lot of steel wire for that one. We could make the Wild 04 if I had even more ancient rubber and coal. Okay. Um, This needs... Well, what did the other thing for coal... What was that? That was the fuel tank. Yep. All right. Let's fix up the fuel tank. Put that bad boy on. All right. We finally got that on. So silly that they like bow guard you from doing stuff. All right. Here we go. So now I got that done. So how much coal do I need? 12. 12 coal and uh, 11 ancient rubber. It's probably going to be a while till we get that, but we can go, we can try to go unlock that next race. We can try and go unlock that, but we can hold more fuel now, so that's really good. Uh... Go to the wasteland. And let's go to that next point. We could just uh, casually drive on over there. We'll just drive. We'll do some. We'll do some good old casual drive. Oh, I need gas. Whatever. We can get gas over there. We can fuel up over there. That's the good stuff. Over ye yonder the there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Good driving. If I, if I cut close to all of these uh, rocks and shit, then the bandits can't catch me, I think. Oh, you look, more steel wire. That's good. All right, we got to make sure we're heading off to the right over here. I can't wait till we unlock more music in the video game. Serial, there's only three driving tracks. No! That would be sad. There should definitely be more than three. I mean, Monkey Ball and Binary Domain is great, but having more than Monkey Ball and Binary Domain is uh, even even better. This is a good driving track. This gets me in the mood to, like, run over some monkeys. 
right? That's what this, this, this track is supposed to inspire you to do, is like, drive over monkeys. I believe this is the crash into monkey track. Right? Ah, here we go. You there. You have a moment? I do, sir. I do. Looks like you've got a pretty nice buggy there. You interested in taking it into racing? I've raced it in the Challenge Cup. All the better. Ah, excuse me. My name's Jean. Ew. You're Jean. 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 Jean Cujo. I'm a man who loves motorsports with a passion. I also used to be a buggy racer myself. Jean's actually a really cool name. I'm just jealous. Even after the bombs dropped, true racers never stopped racing. We're putting up new tracks in lots of places. Please, take a look. Doesn't it just make you feel like racing? No. Race. <laughs> Yeah, I'm interested. Really? Then let's get started right now. We usually do take a fee for entry, but since it's your first time, we'll let you race for free. For free? I love for free. I don't know where we're going, so we're probably gonna lose. Okay, this one's straightforward. I ran that guy. He got in my way. I'm not going to concern myself with collecting too much here. I would just like to be able to uh, finish the race. So if we can accomplish just finishing the race, then I'll be happy. Getting all these uh, bonus pushes. Threading the needle. That was very difficult. Only a champion like me could do that. I got 158. No, we got 62. Whack. Cool. I did your race, buddy. Just like I thought. You've got some real skills. Thank you. Whenever you've got time, you're welcome to come race with us again. Now, you'll excuse me. A new race, the Hilltop, the Hill Climb Cup, is now available. Speak to Bat to race in the Hill Climb Cup. What, what in the cup? I do it in the cup. Cup me. Uh, hit your ride. Back to Eden. I'm not driving all the way back over there. Waste of time. Alright, we'll go back and talk to Bat. And we'll do another race. That's gonna be the last race we can do. And then we'll go talk to Jagre. And we'll, uh... We'll do more story a bitties. Story bitties. Bitty. Bit bitties.
the itty bitty itty bitty committee <laughs> that's a good one uh fuel up bruh yo pump me up full of petrol my little homie <laughs> all right compete in a race We're going to do the intermediate and we're going to get a speed wing. I don't know if like the time we're trying to beat also means that we'll get first place. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. This is very intense music. I couldn't see what was happening. I like it when I can see what's happening in a video game. <laughs> Old Town Road's a country rap song by Lil Nas X. What? <laughs> I want to hear that song you told me about with the Devil's Throne. I don't know what song that is. I think that would be pretty easy to look up, Don. Yeah, I, you told me that it was a song by Lil Nas X the other day. I may have heard it. I just don't know it, man. I don't. I don't know it said you watched it by no sound i just wasn't paying attention to the audio i just watched the video i was not paying attention to the music at all i have no idea what the song was when i say i watched it but didn't listen to it i just meant like i was not paying attention to the music whatsoever i was just watching the video that's all that i meant by it there was audio on i just wasn't paying attention to it The, the song didn't really, like, catch me in any way, so I was just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. I'm just hitting, like, the sides of the road here. That's bad. I'm just gonna... Oh, God! I don't care about the BP tokens. They're nice. But... Serial doesn't care. Oh, thank goodness. It's a country rap song? Okay. Turn that hard. All I can say is I'm unfamiliar with it. 
It was Who's removed that? from the country charts for not being country enough. Typical country music. Hell, I mean, they had Taylor Swift on the country charts for years, and I don't think she ever made country music, so... <laughs> I don't, but I don't know the song, so I mean their standards are very um, whatever pleases them. All right, well we won all three of those. Very cool. Uh, enter this race by visiting the Central Mountain Path. And there's just three more races that we can do. Okay, cool. Oh, it tells you how long the race is, too. It's interesting they're not, like, loops or anything like that. They're just straight paths. I don't know if we'll have access to that quite yet. All right. I don't I don't know that we've ever been to the Central Mountain Path. I think that might be blocked off. Quicksand or rocks or something like that. Let's save. And then let's go do uh let's go do the mission. I'm on a mission that people say is impossible, but when I swing my swords, they're all stoppable. I be that body dropper, that heartbeat stopper. Child educator plus head infiltrator. All right, how much BP did we get? How much BP? Let's see what we can purchase. I got $458 dues. I could get a balanced engine G or a boost muffler or a defense muffler or a claymore. A bumper like a giant sword greatly lowers performance but slightly increases durability can ram large rocks in your path to break them. That sounds cool. Middling fender. Slightly lowers performance but increases durability. Balanced wing. Silk scarf. Resin. Old highway. High balanced engine. You know, that could be all right. High balanced engine G. Boy, I really wish it would show you. I wish you could compare. I wish you could compare. That's that's problematic. Not being able to see. That would be cool to get if we could get the high balanced engine G. That's a hundred fifty dollars or two hundred fifty dollars away from us. Zweihander. It's probably the next level of upgrade that we want is that one. I don't even see another engine on here. They stopped putting the engines up here. Interesting. And then you can get the the Slepnir. Can drive over jagged roads. Can drive over quicksand.
You have no idea which one of those is going to be better. There's no improving on this design. But without seeing stats, I don't see how that's helpful to me. It's so silly that we can't see the stats of this. That drives me batty, man. Get it? Batty? Because the kid's name is Bat? Drives me batty. No, I would like to talk to our friend. Do I just... Do we just go? Ken! He said come talk to me. Right? Or am I talking to the kid? He literally said come talk to me, so I thought that's what we were doing. I'm gonna get this. I can't get this. I ain't got none of that. It was all like, I'm gonna give me a little bit of this, I'm gonna give me a little bit of that, and I can't get none of that. I haven't really been using any healing items. I've not really been using any healing items. That could be helpful. More burst power. Increase charge rate of seven star gauge by five percent. Yeah, that's good. Increase the charge rate. Secret technique damage. Hell yeah. We want some of that. A powerful counterattack usable only in burst mode. R1 then triangle when a foe attacks. Technique power is really good. Which one is this? That's three. Okay. Um, we can't get up there because I don't have another shining orb. So we could go down there a bit. What else we got? It's like the circle charge thing. Makes it easier to put an opponent into Meridian Shock. Reduces enemy resistance by 10%. That could be good. I really want this. Adept Dodge. Three. I guess we're just going to take some health here. That's pretty much the extent of what we can do for now. I want this. The health that increases, uh, plus four. Maybe we could get some of those, too. That's a, that's a really far one to go down.
And those are like the last two big like attack increases. We really need that shining orb right here. All right, that's good for now. Yeah, maybe we're just going forward. I thought maybe we were doing something else. I guess maybe I misunderstood. I thought it was like, come get me. But he's chilling right there. So maybe we just go somewhere in, in the wasteland. Let's check the map. He's with us. All right. Yeah, I guess we're going over here. Okay, cool. I didn't realize it. I did not realize it was that easy. How fast is 208 kilometers per hour in miles per hour? How fast is that? Honestly, have zero idea. Is that like 20 miles an hour? 30? Every 10 kilometers per hour is one mile per hour. Yeah? <laughs> it's not even close. Ah, we just drove over that like it was nothing. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get all these baubles real quick. Hold on. 129. Do you know? Do you know about what the uh, the ratio is? Like, what's what's one mile per hour for kilometers per hour? What's up, Bill? How you doing, boss? He's always here. I guess so. I guess so. 1.6. Yeah, I knew it was... I thought it was over one and a half. I just wasn't sure if it was like 1.75. I knew it wasn't two. And I knew it was over one and a half. But what it was in between, I had no idea. 1.6. I'll never remember that. I'll never remember that. Yeah, I got you. So I can't. I'm not allowed to walk over there. Looks like there's a guy over there, though. I'm gonna run you nerds over. Out of my way, burger punks. Hey, how are things? Captain Jogray, area secure, sir. Nothing's gotten past me, not even an ant. I've gotta say, rare to see you here, sir. Got some business to take care of in the cursed village. You need to get by? Even for you, sir, that's suicide. Maybe so. But I've got Ken here. We should be good. Yeah. Let's go. Understood. Best of luck to the both of you. Um, my name is Kenshiro Kenshiro Kenshiro. Last here is the cursed village. Though I already got the heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies. Ken. I gotta apologize for something. What is it? About the shotgun that I carry around with me. It broke, so it's getting fixed up at the shop. Your point is? Do I gotta spell it out? If those creepers attack, I can't do shit! Well, thanks for taking me this far. You can head back. Oh, hell no! I can't back out now! What would I say to Kisana? 
I gotta show her my manly... Uh, never mind. Like it or not, I'm coming with. Now shut up and drive. I can't do anything without my shotgun. So you can't punch things? You're worthless? Are you afraid to punch things, sir? Hey, Ken. I won't blame you if you want to turn back now. Why are you afraid? What? Hell no, I'm not scared. I'm Jack Ray, captain of the watch and certified badass. If a zombie screws with me, I'll rip off his head, throw it up in the air, and shit down his neck. Oh, my back. Where the hell's a goddamn rock? <gasps> Well, I guess they saved you the trouble of ripping it off. We are in deep shit, Ken! We are ass deep in zombie turf! I can see that much. Take a look around you. <gasps> shit! Me? Jagre. Make sure you stay close. <laughs> What's up, Smoke? How you doing, man? Damn it. You got company. Whatever these things are, this place is full of them. Let's go. Whoa! I knew it. Take a look, Jack Ray. Huh? Take a look at what? What the hell is going on? I'll explain it later. Incoming! Uh, they're possessed? You think Bane from Batman and Robin looks better than the 2012 one? Well, the Bane from Batman and Robin is supposed to more resemble, like, the, the comic book Bane. The one in Christopher Nolan's movie is just supposed to be, like, the way he wants to design him. It's just a different design. I got you. You like the more comic book look of them more? I feel you. I feel like they've never represented Bane properly in a movie. They always make him a pawn when Bane's supposed to be super intelligent. What happened, Chuck Ray? Get back here! Like, Bane ain't no little bitch punk. And they always treat him like that, and I feel bad. Because Bane's a pretty cool supervillain. You heard they're finally, finally selling the Orioles? I have not heard that Peter Angelos was doing it, but I mean, it, I guess it makes sense. I mean, he's like five trillion years old, you know? I actually don't know much about the Angelos family. I think he's got some kids and stuff, but they're pretty damn old too. I would I would love it if it finally got out of his hands. I'm not a fan of Angelos. It's not to say a new owner is necessarily better though. I love it when dodging does nothing. At least they don't hurt. There. 
merciful Two execution. billionaire guys are gonna buy them. Damn. They're doing a lot of that. Okay, I would like to be able to get away. Thank you. That is not... I hit double X. Merciful execution! They're willing to make some big moves to better the team. Yeah, they've been struggling. I mean, well, they were actually really good this year. I'm gonna say, they've been struggling, but they were actually pretty solid this year. You know, good for them. I'm happy. Sucks they had a great season last year and the big wigs did nothing in the off season. Well, the off season is still the off season. <laughs> Maybe they knew also, you know, they were getting ready to sell the team, too. And you're not going to make any big moves before you sell. Getting, getting like stuck in between a couple of enemies is brutal. You probably weren't expecting them to be good. Major League movie. I can't even tell what's hitting me half the time. Assholes!
Dude, I had one HP. Holy crap, man. That was rough. Thank you, uh, uh, brave warrior. Tell me, what happened to these poor bastards? These cursed people were attacked by Kyo'o. But unlike you, they lost their sanity. For real? Then that means... These villagers are victims of the Meito Kieken style. So if I hadn't been healed in time... Yeah, you would have ended up like them. Gives me the shivers just thinking about it. Let's get moving. Jagre? Ken? Uh, I'm gonna stay here. But why? I'm Eden's captain of the Watch. If the Watchmen had taken out Kyo'o sooner, we could have saved these guys. When you think of it that way, this is all my fault. At least I can give them the proper burial. Jack Ray. Don't worry about it. You gave these lost souls peace at last. I want to show the world that they were people, not monsters. All right. I'll head up the mountain alone then. I'll meet you here after I'm done. Because smoke. The cream of the voice acting always rises to the top. That's why. Hitting the trail, Ken? Uh, you know it, uh, boss. I'm gonna go up in the sewer. Nope, I'm not going in the sewer. Classic, exactly. This should be the place. Intriguing. I never expected someone to get past the cursed village. Who are you? Someone who knows a way around that den of madness. What brings you up here? As the keeper of this mountain, I am maintaining order. doing killing you for kisana oh kisana's my girlfriend also if i get hit we're dead dead before i go to sleep listen to the song old town road if i can remember i'll try to remember I'm going to tell you right now, I'm probably not going to remember, but I'll try, Don. I'll try. Oh, the old man's kicking my ass! Probably could have gone better. It's not over. 
He's too powerful. So this is Hokuto Shinken. That's right. And you're Nadai, aren't you? How is Kisana? Is she doing well? Well, that's her dad. She didn't murder her dad? She told me her father was dead. <sighs> Did my daughter tell you she killed me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A mistake on her part. She's never taken a life. She didn't know how much the human body can take. After she stabbed me, I hid myself away. So why are you hiding instead of helping her? If she knew I was alive, she would be torn between asking me to help the city and killing me. Thus, I am watching over her from afar. I gather you came here at her behest, now that the doors to Spear City are locked. So you know about that? It's not hard to see from here. Hey, girlfriend! Yuria! The doors closed when she entered the Chamber of Miracles. They will remain closed. They won't open again until she wakes up. Why? What do you mean? Much like the stone walls below. When someone lies down in the Chamber of Miracles, the doors to Sphere City close shut. How do you know all of this? Because I... I put my... Dying wife in there three years ago. I don't understand. I was desperate to save my wife. So I followed the instructions that were on the stone in Sphere City. Which led me to the healing powers of the Chamber of Miracles. I laid her on that bed. 
believing it was the only way to help her. And what happened next? Nothing less than a miracle. All her wounds were healed. I have no doubt that as we speak, Yuria is healing. Yuria. Now, man of Hokuto, there is a favor I must ask of you. What is it? Watch over Kisana. Protect her where I cannot. What do you mean? My daughter despises me even now, and she has every right to. Her mother is dead, and by my hand. If I returned now, even to help her, I know it would only make things worse. I want you to answer one question first. You told me that you took your wife into the Chamber of Miracles. So then why did you choose to kill her? <sighs> you killed the one you love. That is something I will never be able to understand. You wouldn't. You know nothing. You have no idea how far a broken, desperate man will <laughs> What? My wife never wanted to enter the chamber. I decreed that none could enter. She wouldn't let me break my own laws for her. But her life came before my crown. I carried her in knowing she might never forgive me. But then... What happened in there? This is wrong. You know that, love. I told you, you can survive this. And yet, the price would be too great. We cannot let the sand run out. It would be better if I just die now. Can't give up now. Don't leave us. It won't be so bad. I've had a good life. I got to spend it with you. And we've been blessed with Kisana. I have no regrets. I can't. I just want to rest. If you want to help me. Then help me find peace. <laughs> then please, my darling. So I took her out of the Chamber of Miracles, and I ended her life. I had no idea her daughter was watching. You think you know what it's like to live with that pain? Sorry. I've carried it for years now. Sometimes it's more than I can bear. Don't apologize. Within that punch, I felt all of your regret. There is one last thing. Please don't tell Kisana. I will not. She needs to know this. But you will be the one to tell her when the time comes. I've one last selfish request. If the time should ever come, tell Kisana this. Take shelter in Eden's lowest level. When will she need to? When dark times have fallen upon the city. It will not be long now until ruin comes to Eden.
Oh, they coming back. They coming back. Kyo. Is that Kyo's army? No. The Holy Imperial Army. I don't know them. They have a true tyrant sitting at their helm. Emperor Thouser. He calls himself the Holy Emperor and has been seizing town after town by force. It seems he seeks a new conquest, Eden. Then I'm going to go back to the city. They'll need my help. Be wary of Thouser. He's a greater fighter than you know, one of Nanto Seiken's strongest. Nanto Seiken? So he's a master. You should go now. It seems Eden's future is in your hands. I'm counting on you, man of Hokuto. Jump down there, jump on the ball. Mega ball jump, sphere jump. IDL obtained, 21 million. We got a lot of millions. Dude, we got a shining orb, yes. Hell, yeah, save the data big time, baby. Big data save, dump, save, dump, save, dump. Dump save. You gotta get your dump saves in. Mega giga dump save. Siri, why do you keep calling it a dump save? I don't know. Nanto's strongest. What's a Nanto? Nice. 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 Nice noise, nice noise, nice noise, nice noise, nice noise. Kill those who oppose me. Nice. You insects beneath my heel deserve no mercy. Those who defy the Holy Emperor must die. Die all for me. Jagray! What's up, Ken? You look like you just seen a ghost. The Holy Imperial Army is marching on Eden. The Emperor? Damn it! Now he makes a move? Of course it'd be while we're out of town. Let's hurry back. We're not done repairing the gate. If they hit us now, we don't stand a snowball's chance in hell! There is no gate. There's just a hole, sir. There's just a hole. Holy hole. Holy hole of holes. The whole hole. Whole lot of hole, baby. Whole lot of hole. Okay, so I want this. I think. Yeah. I want that. Boom. And then I can get... Attack plus 40%. And then I can get attack plus 90%. Now I don't have any more star orbs. Now I got no more star orbs. But we got we got a huge uh, buttload of I don't know where I'm going now. We got a huge buttload of uh, attack increases. A pretty big one. That's a pretty big one. I'm going the right way. Nope. This was wrong way. Dumps. Dumps in a truck. Dumps in a truck. Give me the girls with a dumps in a truck. Dumps in a truck. 
Dumps in a truck. Oh. What's up? Ken, Eden's in danger. We gotta hurry. Uh, not yet. What? You gotta take a piss? Get your ass in gear. I do. I gotta go pee. That's funny that you could just leave. Yeah, man. Right. Let's roll, big guy. Oh, I am a big guy, big guy. You're also a big guy, big guy. Can we both be big guys? Yeah. Now we get to listen to Super Monkey Ball while everyone dies in Eden. And I, and I drive around and I collect, uh, what are we collecting? Fine Springs and Ancient Rubber. What were you guys doing? Well, I was doing donuts and we were picking up rocks. You can pick up rocks here. Yeah, but... Those are here rocks, not over there rocks. And I needed over there rocks. What did you need over there rocks for? No reason. I just wanted them. Are you gonna... So... Wait. I'll kill you! Yeah. You just like rocks, man. You like rocks. We're just very big fans of picking rocks up. Kind of like our uh, hobby. Kind of like our our hobby. We pick up rocks. You never know when you'll need a rock. Sometimes you need a rock. You know. Sometimes you need a rock. Why didn't we go to the save? This game has a jukebox, sort of. We only have three songs, though, so... Very limited jukebox, but yes, we do have one. I hope at some point we can get more music, but we only have three songs. They're already in. Let's take out the trash, Ken. Yeah. Yeah. Every time he says yeah, it sounds like he took poop. Captain Jagre. Yeah. Oh, you're still alive. <sighs> the Holy Imperial Army attacked. Yeah. I know. Ken and I are kicking them out. Here, sir. Take this. Mm -hmm. Oh. I picked it up from the shop Kill for you. you. Nice. 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 Oh, that's nice. 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 Good work. I'm back in the fight. Let's dance, Ken. Yeah. Let's. Who are we dancing with? I want to do a jig. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Strike! Oh, yeah. 
Blink. Take this. You guys are alive. You're welcome. I was not prepared for the level up. Uh, Charles, can you do a uh, shuffle for us? Wow, man, shuffling. The shuffling is actually a sign of fight. Slap a dude in the face. Merciful execution. Wow, mind shuffling. Star Orb. Uh, what's Jagre doing? Can't grab him. Like there's one dude here, grab him. Please stop knocking him down. <laughs> Please. Good. It is impossible to get handsy grabsies on the guy when he's falling down. They got guns and shit? What the hell? Rush. That's a good one. We won. You boys all right? <laughs> Captain Jack Ray, forgive me. We failed to stop the army. Forget about that. Is Kisana okay? 
I'm sorry, sir. The Emperor took Lady Kisana hostage. <gasps> what? The... Fuck! We'll save her. Let's go. W-T-F! Ken, let's split up. We can find that shithead Emperor faster that way. Sounds good. I'll start from the east end. You take the west side. Keep your eyes open. You too. I bet the Imperial Army is all over Eden. Fart, 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 fart! You mother fudger. Fudge you all over Fudge Town. Find Thouser. What a weird name. That guy's a flame throw! Merciful execution! My arm's so heavy! My body! So, there's this move that we have that I have no idea how to do. I think it's this one. Uh... No, it's this one. Use a perfect channel when the Star of Death shines. Perform sublime transients to strike multiple foes and channeling points, even if they're not in Meridian Shock. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to get the, the Death Star to shine, to be honest. I don't know if that's like a random thing or what. So when you see in the top left corner by like the R2 and the D-pad and our level and all that, there's like a little extra dot that'll appear next to... Next to whatever the little what is this? You know, constellation, the finger wounds. Take this. Oh. Merciful execution. And every once in a while, there'll be like an extra little shining point there. I don't know what causes it though. We cleaning up though. Baser West. Merciful execution. It's funny every time they explode. They get huge swollen body parts? What the hell? Maybe we did not dodge that. Give me all the magical treats. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. This is your tomb. This is my tomb. Cool. I did not get a counter attack there. Wait, wait, easy baby game. <laughs> Please help me. Where's the man in charge? Uh, are you? You're not an Imperial? No. Oh, thank heavens. The Emperor went north. I think he was heading downtown. But chasing him would be suicide. You're going after him? Yeah. Then you should head that way. What? They both have flaming rubble. The fire will burn you up if you try to run through it, but the flames over there aren't as bad. Though I can't tell you what's past the flames. Maybe you should stock up at the bazaar first. Good call. Ah, the bizarre stocking game. What the heck's going on? Hey, watch out. Well, what about the city? Is it an attack? I would like to save, please. Okay, we saved. Now, who's the bazaar? Now, who is the bazaar? Are you the bazaar? Huh? What's wrong? I got so thirsty, I drank some muddy water, but now my tummy hurts. I will slap your channel points with fingers. Put my fingers in your butthole. I mean, you feel better, right? You feel better, right? So don't worry about it. I threw out my hip. Don't worry, old man. I'll fix your hip. Thank you for chocolate. Oh. It's all burning. It's going to take forever to put this back together. You want to buy something to help rebuild after all? No. Do you want to help rebuild? Maybe we should take some uh, perfect jerky. Five jerkies. All right. I bought five jerkies. I've recovered most of my merchandise, but the nightclub got hit pretty hard. Does it look like I care about the nightclub, miss? Unknown power within it 
Lowers fire and electricity damage. Mm, that could be helpful. Increased destiny points obtained in battle. Well, the more damage taken, the higher my attack. I mean, I do take a lot of damage. I don't think I'm buying anything from you, miss. Kenshi Ro, help the city! Uh, I'm trying. Those Imperial Army soldiers ruined our stores. Kenshi Ro, could you please take care of them? If you need anything, you got it. I need god rations. We could pick up a couple of these meals. It recovers everything. I'll take two of them. We haven't really healed in battle. I like the idea of, like, getting through battle without healing. Might be a dumb idea, but I like the idea. You know? Could be a very... I can't leave Eden in this state, dude. I, I did try to leave, I will be honest. I, I did try to walk away. I was just gonna roll out. Peace out, Cub Scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you're healed. He gave me some bread. Very good. You need some bread? No, he's just gonna stab a watermelon. That guy's into watermelon stabbing. You know, you can't blame someone for being into that. Kind of fun to stab a watermelon. I know, I've stabbed plenty of watermelons in my time. Decent jerky, more like crappy jerky. More like garbage jerky. I'm gonna drop some things off over here. There are some things we definitely don't need in our inventory. Like you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. I'm gonna eat that. Sell the statue. Sell this. Hostess. Hostess. I'm gonna eat that skill orb though. Put that skill orb in my mouth. And we're gonna save the game. You see how I ate that skill orb? They couldn't stop me from eating it. They couldn't stop me. You can't stop the shining. You want to stop the shining. You can't stop the shining. Now we got a skill orb. I got it swirling around inside my buttocks. I can get you through, but I can't get you back. Stock up at the bazaar if you're low on gear. No, I'm good, homie. I want to get the hell out of here. Good to go? Good to go. I'll dampen the flames. One sec. What, are you going to pee on them? Don't bother. Wait, what? I thought you wanted through. Keep your water. I can jump. Pull the tapeworm out of your ass? Gross! I guess. Gross. First of all, you shouldn't have tapeworms. Stop eating all that raw pork. What a jump! Godspeed! Stop eating all, the, all that roadkill. 
All them raccoons and possums. It's cereal, they're so delicious. I know. I know they're delicious, but you shouldn't eat raw, dead raccoon, possum, ferret, marmot, squirrel, rabbit, feral taco. Okay, that's bad. That really hurt. Welsh rabbit. Yeah, that's what I said, rabbit. Doesn't matter what rabbit. Hair is hair, man. Don't bother struggling. Hokuto, Bone Crusher, strike! Got him. I just can't get that technique to work. I've been trying and trying, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Not you, you. Oh, the Death Star, that's right. Perfect channel, and press circle and direction. We don't have the, that's why it doesn't work, because we need the Death Star, so it's stupid to do it. Well, I'll keep doing it anyways. I'm stubborn like that. Sometimes it feels good to miss the perfect channeling. Victory tastes like your mom's hair. What? We don't do that one often. I could kill you right now. Oh, that hurts so much. Do twice. I love killing the weak ones. Whoa! 
I definitely didn't want to do that again. Oh, the Death Star shining. Great. <laughs> Mr. Kenshiro. Have you seen the leader of the Imperial Army? The Emperor? He went to the nightclub. Got it. Please, wait! What's wrong? The Emperor posted soldiers along the way to the club. Your path is being guarded by multiple squads. It's terribly dangerous out there, even for you, good sir. You ought to prepare for the worst. Good call. First things first, man, you're fucking with the worst. I'll be sticking pins in your head like a fucking nurse. Wasn't gonna help that guy. Dude, you can run all the way back to the bazaar. So they cleaned all this out for us? <laughs> it's funny. This is where we came from, was right over here on the other side of this. We couldn't go beyond here. But now we can for, you know, reasons. Oh, the casino's closed, but I wanted to gamble. I forgot that we could gamble. What is that place? Game Machine Parts Arcade? What is that? And you can go in there? I don't think I've ever seen that place before. Interesting. Very interesting. I definitely have not seen that before. We can see if there's any uh, things we can upgrade in the old Italy's man shop. Too concerned about those. Increases gas gain. What? Oh, replenishes the buggy's gas. I got you. It'd be kind of cool punching enemies with fire fists. really like to upgrade that one but I guess we can't the mountain mimicry would be really good too I've 
I've got that one as well, Howler's Augite. That'd be pretty good. Okay, we'll do we'll do this one. We'll get that one upgraded. Bring it up to level two. Enhance. Enhance. You know what I really want to enhance is, uh... That'll work. I want the mountain. Here we go. So that one is maxed. That's good. So now that'll... We use mimicry quite a bit, I think. So that's what all this stuff is used for. Alright. Not like I'm worried about money, I'll tell you that. Raid string. Increasing the cooldown for the stuff that we've been using is pretty solid, so I'm not gonna complain. You finished Mimicry? Yeah? I don't think so, sir. I can wait a couple of minutes for those to come back. Alright, well, we spent some money upgrading. That's cool. We got some stuff a little bit stronger. The decreased cooldown and the enhanced potency of some of them is pretty solid. Can't complain about that, I guess. Uh, we are about to die, though. So maybe I should, uh... Eat some meat? It took away my, uh, Star of Destiny. Maybe the Death Star only shows up when you're low on health. I bet you that's it. The Star of Death only shows up when you're close to death. Okay. I think that's it. Now we know. Seems like the, uh... The beef jerky is a full heal. So that's good. We want that. Let's go, baby! We gotta remember that arcade's over here. There's a lot of soldiers up ahead. Do be careful. You got it, pal. I'm the most careful. I'm the carefulest of careful. This isn't going to be easy. Ready to face an army? Bring it on. Bring it on.
Army me banana. Hey, who the hell are you? Scram! The Emperor ordered us not to let anyone by. So the Emperor's up ahead. Yeah. So? What are you gonna do about it? Walk on through. What the? Didn't your mama teach you any manners? <laughs> I told you to scram! No, your name is Scram. Bastard! No one gets away with defying the Imperial Army! Soldiers to arms! Don't let this fuckwit get anywhere near the Emperor! Fine. I'll make you move. We gonna tickle him? Oh, no, right. We're gonna make him explode. Great. My bad. <laughs> Fist of penitence. You got I'm sorry. Uh, I beat up your friend. Uh, I beat up your friend. Hey, look at how quickly he runs up the stairs. Can we do that? Like, more often? Because that's so much better than, like, taking one step at a time. Kenshiro? <laughs> of course, the boy of Hokuto's all grown up. You are a boy no more. You're a man. I will give you one warning, Thouser. Let Kisana go. <laughs> Is that all? The Holy Emperor does as he pleases. And I think I shall stay. There is water here, power, resources, and fine women indeed. It suits me well. So then, what has brought you to Eden? Does this woman belong to you? What? Belong? I came to this city so I could find my own love. I should have known. <laughs> I can't understand. Why would you go to such lengths for the sake of your love? Your city will make me a fine throne. Come now. 
don't smile for me. I'm your ruler now, and you and your land belong to the Holy Emperor. And yet, you may find we are not as submissive as you think, Emperor. Oh? A feisty little girl, are we? Fine. What could you possibly do? At the very least, I can kill you! <laughs> You're going to need more than a toy if you want to take my life. Knives on toys. Knives aren't toys. <laughs> What's wrong? Is that all you've got? It's too late for you. You're already dead. Oh? I struck your Jinchu Kyoku pressure point. The most vital and destructive point there is in the human body. You are going to die in three seconds. <laughs> Three, is it? Interesting. Then why don't we count down together? One. Two. That's counting up, not down. Three. What? <laughs> Insolent little whelp. My body is immune to Hokuto Shinken. The gods saw fit to grant me a true emperor's body. I rule by the divine right of kings. But that's... How did you survive Kenshiro's attack? Impossible. I know I hit your pressure point. So, what next, Kenshiro? You already know Hokuto Shinken is useless. Do you still want to fight me? <laughs> so be it. When Nanto falls into chaos, Hokuto will rise. Perhaps our battle had been prophesied from the start. You bastard! <gasps> Sit still. Allow me to show you who is truly the strongest. Probably him. He seems pretty tough. He's confident. You should take your stance. What stance? Nanto Hooken has no stance. Stances are for those who defend. But my fists have one purpose, and that is to conquer all before me. That can't be good. You will not strike. Then I'll make the first move. Oh, here comes the tickle monster. Come at me. You must stay back. Oh, I'll come. And I'll come hard. Come at me then. I just said I was. That all you got? This isn't. Ooh. 
The pole dancing, neat. All right, pole dancing. secret you've been hiding. Then go ahead and try it again. <laughs> your heart under pressure pads. Your body's internal organs are all reversed. They're on the opposite side. Boy, I sure love that every single one of their attacks knocks me down. He hits me once and I'm like cross of the Phoenix Don't mess this up. First tried the boss, nice, easy baby game. Damn you, Kenshiro. You lost. 
Hit the road, Thouser. What? Kenshiro is right. It is time you left, Emperor Thouser. You dare give me orders, you wench? Kisana! You okay? Jagre! And... Rihaku? Thouser, your soldiers have been routed. The last of them are retreating as we speak. What? It's time for you to go. This town will never bow to you. Whoa! You're gonna let him walk away? I know you're not a man to surrender, but you'll gain nothing today by staying. Thouser. Kenshiro, let me ask you. What? My army won't be the last to invade Eden. Will you fight them all back? All for the sake of your love? I will. <laughs> Fine. If you are so determined to cling to your sad little love, let us see how far it can take you. I'll enjoy watching it slowly break you, Kenshiro. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking a lot of trash for someone that just got their ass kicked. I'm just saying, you know. Like, I spanked you. Thank you for helping Eden in its time of need. We were simply fulfilling our duty as her guardians, nothing more. And now, we must go. Like, shouldn't we talk to him? He knows stuff about Yuria. We're just gonna let him walk away. You sure about this, Kisana? Set him loose, and he's bound to come creeping back. For now, it should suffice. At any rate, there's been enough bloodshed for one day. I appreciate your help as well, Ray. How are your wounds? Nothing major. But Emperor Thouser? He'll definitely return to settle the score. Hmm. If he does, we'll whoop his ass all over again. But you, Kisana, showed real courage. I see why you're called the Holy Maiden. Our Lady's bravery was commendable indeed. Kisana? I was so frightened. Kisana! What's gotten into you? I was powerless. My father would never have let this happen. Without your help, this entire city would have fallen to the Holy Imperial Army. I'm not strong enough to be called a ruler. I've let everyone down. Kisana. Huh? Kisana. You are not alone. The people of Eden love and support you. You become a beacon of hope to them because of who you are. Ken. You're not your father. There's no point trying to surpass him. You protect this city in a way that only you can. Ken's right! And I'll beat down anyone who says otherwise! Irene and I have already thrown a lot on your shoulders. If we can ease your burdens now, we'd be happy to help. Everyone. I... Thank you. Easy baby game. Another shining orb, hell yeah. That's what I'm all about. Dude, I kicked his butt. What a, what a scrub. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, I wash up that scrub.
What is Grub? He was a chump. Chump. Okay, you've saved enough. Ooh, bloodlust. Very nice. Lusty bloods. All right, you boys take those supplies that away. When you're done, we move the rubble on the west side. Oh, yeah. I know, now. Damn it. Shit. All right. Whoa. Huh? What the? Huh? Yo, they let him out. So, where should I put this? Right! Put it up against the wall over there! Yo, why hasn't he been helping the whole Listen time? Listen up, everyone! Long as we work together, we can turn this place around. Doesn't matter if you're a watchman or a convict. We can do this together! We can make Eden better than it ever was! Yeah! Ain't that right, Kisana? Citizens of Eden, it is time for this city to change. We have protected the blessings of Sphere City by building walls and limiting the population. We maintained order by turning away those in need, so that only a select few could live in bliss. This, however, was not the path of justice. In a perfect city, the strong must safeguard the weak. Society can only rise as high as its lowest members. From this day forth, the gifts of Eden are no longer a treasure to be protected, but to be shared. Therefore, today I declare that Eden's gates shall be open to all! Whoa, really? We will open our gates, release any prisoners, and welcome all newcomers with open arms. Uh... Wouldn't that be inviting the Holy Imperial Army and the Army of Ruin? That is a danger we cannot ignore. But if we all work together, we can protect each other and live without fear. Eden is going to become greater than ever. By the hands of its own people! I mean, it's not just that, but if you let out, like, murderers and rapists, this is probably not a good idea. <laughs> Kisana is shaping up to be a remarkable leader. Yeah. This world needs a hero brave enough to make their ideals a reality. You're right. By the way, Ken, did you hold someone at the casino at gunpoint last night? What are you talking about? I thought as much. See, recently a man with seven scars was spotted causing trouble around town. What? He wore a black helmet and packed one hell of a punch. According to Jagre, the Watchmen are on the hunt. If his power came from Hokuto Shinken... 
Right. It's the man who kidnapped Irie. Could it be? Ken, do you know who he is? Yes, I do. A man I used to call my brother. Brother? One of the other Hokuto Shinken disciples? His name is Jaggy. A few years ago, he tried to kill me, rather than see me named successor. I fought him off, shattering his skull in the process. I haven't seen him since, so I took him for dead. I see. That helmet must be to hide his head injuries. Yeah. If Jaggy actually is the man who abducted Irie, I won't rest until I finish what you started. Please, will you help me find him? Of course. As the successor of Hokuto Shinken, it's on me to clean up the mess I made. I want to touch his soft spots like a baby's. Just put my finger into his soft spots. <laughs> okay, let's start at the casino where he was last seen. Sounds good. Sounds good. Ooh. Is this the casino? All right, it's daytime. Whoa, I got a friend. Friends. How many us of? Uh, wait, how many of us have them? Friends. Before we go any further, let's talk about friends. Dude, I got a friend. You got a friend in me. Okay, quit telling me about fucking burst mode, dude. I'm like 900 hours into this game. Jesus. You can go into burst mode if you press R2. I've done it. I've done it like 400 times. Remember, you can go into burst mode. Why are you telling me this? Remember to go into burst mode. Burst mode. Lady Lisa, Lisa, Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. A man in a helmet? Nope. Haven't seen him. Whoa. Yeah, push Ray. That guy's got a bigger ass than you. Why are we running down the stairs like this? No need to rush, Kenshiro. Shut up, Ray. Hey, you wanna go see some hot ladies? Wanna go see some hot ladies? Let's see what we got. Uh, we got another shining orb. Is there something I can... Well, we could use it here. Then I could get more health. Damage reduction in burst mode and another attack increase. Yeah, maybe we'll go... Oh, God, a lot more health. Maybe we'll go down here. Uh, where else could we use the shining orb? Okay. We're closing in on getting all of these uh, talismans. We've got five more left and then that. I think we get them for finishing chapters, the shining orbs. Mm, we can use them here too. All right, that's all for burst. If I do this. When near a foe, press triangle in burst mode. You know, increasing how quickly the uh, seven star gauge builds up is nice. Secret damage doing more. That's cool. Duration. What about this one. That's key field. Oh, this is like a super thing. Hmm. There's not much I can do in here until we, like, unlock some stuff. And I... I guess technically we could do this. I could get, like, the final technique. 
needs a heal. Using a secret technique will restore 3% of your health. Yabba dabba do. And we get the adept dodge. 3% isn't a lot, but we use the we use that technique really often. Man. It's either that or come down here and then get a ton more health and attack. Cannot die while in burst mode. Ow. We'll do that later. I want this. Damage, man. Damage. Attack increased by 40. We'll get 70% more health. Cannot die in burst mode. Damage reduced. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. I'm going to hold on to one. There's not really much of a reason, but... Hold on to the one body orb we still have left. There's so many empty points for star orbs. Secret technique powered up. As far as I can go anywhere. Get some in here, I guess. So much stuff while in burst mode. I really, really wish that there was, like, a ground attack. Nice that we can do double finishers, though. Wish you could do, like, triple finisher. Oh. You can do more finishes. Well, I kind of want that. I guess we've got something to save up for. Flamethrower counter. Is this all while in burst mode, or all these counters? No. That's in burst mode. But, this isn't. A counter attack against foes attacking you during a hidden channeling point strike kills both your target and one attempting to interrupt you. Press circle near a foe in Meridian Shock while another foe attacks. I feel like that's just gonna happen naturally. And I leveled up a bunch of stuff. Oh, right! We were going to work at the nightclub for a little yes. while. Is what we gotta do. We gotta do ten more of these. It's like you gotta take your medicine. It's medicine day. It's time to take our medicine. It's time to eat your donuts. It's time to eat your donuts. It's time to eat your donuts. 
Why 10 more? So we can slowly work our dead off. Doing 10 at a time. So right now we have uh, 80 more million worth of debt. I don't want to do all of this at one time. It's really tedious. So we just do 10 at a time. It takes like a half hour to go through them because each one takes three minutes to get through. So we do 10. If I do all of them at one time, we're going to be sitting here for like five hours. And, um, yeah, no. That's a, that's a big no for me, dog. How you doing, Stubby the Bee? So I've just been doing it. And we've only done one before. Or at the beginning of the stream, I did, uh, I did 10 of these. And we'll do another 10 maybe a little later. It's just hella tedious to go through and do this, you know? Heckin'... Heckin' tedious, man. How you doing, Stubby? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. Nice to meet Welcome. you. Nice to meet you. Sorry to keep you. That's not gonna be great. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Good nice to meet you. Take your time. Good to meet you. Awesome. Let's have fun. Awesome. We just have to like get women at the table for that guy, and then we just sub on out. Why do you want other girls? You seated with the best girls? I like how people complain. I like how people are complaining here. Like, what do you gotta complain about, man? Like, what you gotta worry about? This place sucks. These girls aren't hot. The hell are you talking about? Like, then stop spending money on the cutie pie. I think sometimes, like, just, like, dialogue lines are playing. I don't think they're all that concerned about what the dialogue lines are playing. Because it makes no sense why they are, like, screaming about stuff. Nice. We made over six million once. Which isn't too bad. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I wish I wish I knew. Oh? I just use Hina's power because yes. it does like people aren't seated for too long. And it takes three times on a one bar. It would take longer to, like, get everyone else's ability up. Or skill up. Hi. It just takes too long. Welcome. Go ahead. So I feel like just using the... The one tier level skill. You like sitting that guy over there messes me up. Why would you do that? Why would you put him all the way up? Put him at table one! Kenji Row. 
Just like Tyler. Just like Tyler. This guy's definitely here to like put a monkey in the cogs. That's cool. Take your time. Let's begin, shall we? Get him! Monkey wrench. Try to throw me off my table waiting game. Them out pretty quickly. Go ahead. Take your time. Go ahead. So Once actually has any sort of effect. Take your time. I think you're just extracting it once. I think just using it once is more than enough. Yeah, it seems like I only have to use the ability once. I think using it more than once is wasteful, it seems. I don't think it does anything for me. I think using Hina's ability once, it just takes that money away from that customer at three times the rate regardless. I thought maybe you had to like keep using it to like extract faster, but not really. Dude, Susan pulled in so much money. Susan, the second big earner. Dude. Kina has earned 35 million. Susan has earned 14. Emma's 20. Bright is 18. Jacqueline is 14. Liz is 20. These ladies working so hard for their money. They doing it. They doing it. I wonder what their maximum level is. Maybe 99. 99's usually the max level, yeah. Ladies is probably nap time. You enjoying oh. yourself, Ray? Watching me work at the nightclub? Yes. The ladies are hot. Maybe you could come in and spend some money, sir. I mean, you're just gonna stand there and stare. Like, have a drink. Spend some money. We gotta make Bright happy again. Yeah! You're welcome. I like how just giving them candy makes them happy. You're like, here's some candy, and they're like, sure, I'll work more. Sure. Sure, what do you need me to do? Candy is like me. This is just like me. Take your time. You wanna give me candy? Uh, yeah. What a knockout. I wanna give you candy. Thanks. That's how I talk. Welcome. I want candy! It's me. Thanks a bunch! Yeah. Yeah. Just my time. 
I want candy. Take your time. That was really fun. I'm up. Welcome, wonderful. Take your time. That was so much fun. Good evening. Go ahead. Siri, you want num num. That is how I talk. Take your time. Awesome. You're hot. Always a pleasure. Good evening. You're hot. Oh, baby. Ah. Pretty cute. Welcome. Pretty cute. Go ahead. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, baby. Thanks for waiting. Go ahead. That's confusing. Sometimes I lose track of where the uh, cursor is. Going to chalk it up to me being dumb. It's easy to lose sometimes. Go ahead. I'm pumped. Pretty cute. That was so much. That was so much fun. Go ahead. This is hot. Let's enjoy our Go so dull. Oh. Come on, I'm Probably could have got some more money out of that guy, but yeah, we're done. No one gained a level. I wonder how much it would take to get someone to 99. I guess the best route would just to be to like feed them like jerky, give the ladies like a ton of jerky. Here's yes. some jerky. Have some jerky. That's how you make jerky. That's how you make jerky. You do this. I'm not saying how, what you do that on, that hand motion. I'm not saying what you do that on, but that is absolutely how I make jerky. Thank you so much. Oh, don't give her more candy. She has enough candy. That's enough candy, Jacqueline. Don't be selfish. You need to save some candy for Susan. Sue needs her candy, too. They'll be fine. They look a little distressed, but they'll be fine. A little, little, little distress never killed anyone. What a knockout. A little. A little. Dude, I want to walk into a club with knee pads on. What are you going to do with those knee pads? I don't know. Maybe do some kneeling. Maybe do a little... Maybe do a little... little kneeling. Maybe do a little kneeling. I'm talking about some genuflecting. No, I put the wrong lady there. I don't know what's happening. 
Ariel messed up. See you next time. I'm pumped. You gotta be kidding. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, yeah. That was so much fun. Let's have a ball. Welcome. Come on, I'm waiting. You're hot. Pretty cute, Woody. You're hot. Pretty cute. Awesome. Let's get started. This is great. It's almost hot. Come on, I'm waiting. I'm pumped. Oh, my brain hurts right now. Go ahead. I made so many mistakes. This is not going to be a very successful evening. That went so bad. Go ahead. I see. Hey. Awesome. Let's have a ball. That was awesome. Take your time. Pretty cute. Welcome. Enjoy ourselves. Go ahead. Gonna do some break dancing, mostly floor spins. That's all right. You just got that five million. Even though I made a bunch of mistakes there, we still got five million. That's great. Got to spin on the dome piece. No, you're not doing. You got to spin on the head. You got to spin like a top. Oh. If you're not top spinning, then you're break dancing yes. wrong. That's all break dancing is spinning on your head. I've seen the Jabberwockies. No, I don't give her candy. Selfish, Hina. Delightful. You've had enough candy. Yay. Counterpoint, B-Boy Jr.? What's the counterpoint to? I said a bunch of things there. Which counterpoint? Point, counterpoint. Point! Take your time. See, look, I'm just going to tell you that I'm a B-boy in my B-boy stance. Welcome. Take your time. That was pretty fun. With a hand on my Glock? As big as... I should not complete that sentence. Go ahead. See you next Just my type. Just my type. Sorry to keep you. Pretty cute. Welcome. Pretty cute. Take your time. Point. Counterpoint. Point. Let's begin, Sean. Good evening. Point. Take your time. Oh, it's really fun. Pretty cute. Welcome. Pretty cute. Welcome. Let's enjoy ourselves. Point. Awesome. Squirrel, 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 
Thank you. 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 Take their money. Go ahead. That was so much fun. Take your time. Exactly. I'll come again. Awesome. I'll come again. I wonder what the best way to get money is. Get money. Get money. Go ahead. Like, I wonder what the best skill in this game is to use. Like, who has the most efficient stuff? No, it's all on the book. You like to keep it on. Go ahead. Enough and but crooks. Crooks and books, books and crooks. The cursor just disappeared there. Like I went to like select something, it was like nah. Yeah, you will not select. You will not select. Stupid video game. I'll show you. I'll give you beef jerky. Getting mad money off these books. We don't have any books oh. to get money off of. Yes. The hooks. It's off the hook this year. Getting mad money off the hooks this year. Ain't nothing but crooks in here. You can't rhyme hook with hook. What are you, six? Hi. Good evening. Uh, one of those hooks is for hookers, and one of them is for hooks. Still, you can't rhyme hook with hook. Let's begin, shall we? You're my type. That's just sad. Thank you for waiting. Pleased to meet you. Welcome. Oh, what ahead. a blast! That was pretty fun. Just my time. Just my time. Take your time. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Best day ever. ever. Go ahead. Best <laughs> day ever. That was so much fun. Go ahead. Just my time. Mm, you're hot. Welcome. I feel great. Middle one is off the books. Now it says hook. Hooks. Yeah, I can see it. I read it. Not what I expected. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. What's up? Let's have this. Mom, you're hot. Thank you very much. Take your time. Always a pleasure. Mm, you're hot. Welcome. Awesome. Welcome. Thanks for waiting. Go ahead. Come on. Awesome. Waiting. Mm, you're hot. That was so much fun. It's almost done. Pretty cute. I, I, mm, you're hot. Let's enjoy ourselves. You're welcome. Take your time. A little, got a little dicey there, that real was quick. So much fun. Now we're good. Awesome. You're awesome. I'll come again. Aww. Oh, baby. Well, you're yeah. Take your time. Yo. Oh, I like that one. Well, you're awesome. Take your time. Yeah. That was awesome. We're doing great. Oh, baby! Thank you for waiting. That was awesome. Pretty cute. Awesome. Go ahead. I'm pumped. 
again. Well, I'm sorry to keep you very much. Go ahead. It's horrible. I'll come again. Until next time. Awesome. This is great. You're hot. Nice to Go meet ahead. You. You're hot. When I talk to people, I like to comment on their looks. That's how I make good conversation. That was awesome. Thank you. Awesome. This was pretty cute. Take Let's enjoy your time. ourselves. I like how all these guys commenting on the women's looks all sound like people that would totally do that. Oh, you're hot. It sounds just like someone that would do it. Just like it. They did a great job casting these people. Great job. All right, three more and we can get out of here and do more, uh, do more story stuff. Oh. Maybe we should walk around town, yes. see if there's any, uh, submissions that we can get into as well. Do one quick, uh, quick walk a redo. That's a word, don't look it up, walk a redo. One quick walk a redo. Emma's the only one that's like... Is that a spider on the wall? <laughs> Is that a spider? <laughs> Is that a spider? Emma, Emma's, Emma's entranced by Welcome. wall spiders. Go ahead. You're my time! Let's begin, Judy! Thank you for waiting. Cutie! Pleased to meet you. Disgusting. Oh, what a blast! Take your time. That was pretty fun. Wonderful. Welcome. This. Disgusting. Awesome. Welcome. Awesome. Good evening. Hi. Take your time. That was really fun. Hey, which one is this guy? Wonderful. Just like Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for waiting. Welcome. I'll come again. Oh, Thanks. Good evening. Sounds Go ahead. This is great. Awesome. Awesome. That was so much fun. Take your time. I wanted to see what her power was. I don't know where hers is. Good evening. Awesome. That was so much fun. Until next time. That's pretty cute. Let's enjoy the show. Welcome. Take your time. I don't remember what her name is, but it's not it's not Hina. Liz Jacqueline. Oh, I get it. She raises all the, the beauties skills for a set duration of time. That was so much awesome. Take your time. Like they, they burn through these guys so fast. Like they're they're constantly just like three turns and they're done. That was so much fun. They get they get a lot of money from them. Go ahead. I think they're all that way. Welcome. Right? Take your time. One, two. That was awesome. It seems like they're all getting through these guys in three turns. Regardless of whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'll come 
We got the money that we could there at the end. Well, we're, we're at 72 million in debt. I really wish that there was a way to increase this more. Oh. This feels like unnecessarily yes. tedious to make you like go through 40 missions and then another 90. <laughs> it seems a bit much. I mean, you don't have to do it. It's optional, but still. It's me. Good evening. Take your time. Judy! Let's have fun. You're my type. It's Good easy. It's not like it's difficult. Nice to meet you. Welcome. I'm just saying. Go ahead. It'd be nice if there was a way to just increase profits. Just my type. Even more than 20%. Like, I don't know, give me 100% of the profit. You know? That seems fair. I'll take 100%. I'm not gonna be greedy or anything, you know? I'm just saying, I'll take 100% of the profit. I am the one doing all the work. I don't see anyone else here pushing all these buttons, telling the patrons where to go and where the, the ladies to attend to. I don't see anyone else doing this. I'm the one doing it. Take your time. Let's have a ball. Oh my god, where's the... Oh, I mixed the tables up, but we're fine. It's all good. Everything's back to the normal. Take your time. Good old good normal. Take your time. Oh, you're hot. I'm No one ever says that to me. You're hot. Would that be nice? You gotta say it like that, though. Yeah, you're hot. That's the only appropriate way to tell someone they're attractive. Yeah, you're hot. Go ahead. This is great. That was so much fun. Take your time. That was so much fun. Oh, we got what we could. I used Emma's one there at the end. Got us a little bit of extra money. It doesn't really matter, though. 61, dudes. How did Hina fall so far behind the other ladies? Man. Slumming. Alright, one more, and then we can stop this for a while. Oh. Yes. And that gets us now now it's only three and a half hours of <laughs> of doing this. They're all happy. The same ladies work every day for forty hours. Serial, you can't work for forty hours. Welcome. I'm not making the rules here, okay? 
You're my type. I'm not the rule maker, all right? You're my type. Thank you for waiting. Nice to meet you. Good evening. Take your time. Thanks a bunch. You're just my type. Well, you're cute. What's up? Go ahead. You're hot. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Billiam. Uh oh. Uh, best day ever. I agree. Pretty good day, man. What's today? Wednesday? Great day. Great day. Wednesday's a great day. If it's not Wednesday, I don't know what it is, you know? Wednesday be popping. Give me yo ducats, son. Give me them ducats. Manilium ducats. Perish. Perish and Eric. Millennium ducats. Millennium ducats. It is, is English. Don't worry about it. Ducats are dollars. Vanillium. Vanillium ducats. Vanillium. Vanillium is a word. Also. Millennium ducats. I want the Millennium ducats. Where do you get Millennium ducats? I don't know. The science pan? You guys have ever been to the science pan? Go ahead. I'll come again. Oh, baby, you're awesome. Take your time. Baby. Karate chop. Yeah, I don't know how we got that uh, six sixty million that one or six million that one time. No idea. But he be making them big dollars. Two million an evening. Hina got it going on. Everyone comes to the club for Hina. They're like, yo, we hear you got a Hina here. And I'm like, maybe. Maybe. How much money you got? You see this possible Hina. She is in quite high demand. You must be a high roller to request such a verboten name. Can I go inside the club? No. We haven't done Coliseum stuff in a really long time, too. A lot of prisoners were released, but there's plenty of criminals in there. Ms. Lira's informed me that the games are still going to run, so feel free to join in. Now, welcome to the Coliseum. Yeah, right, like you got rid of the Coliseum. Uh, I could do a Hellfire match. Civilians killed over 400. That's a lot of civilians killed. They only killed 200, so they're not super bad.
Uh, let's enter it. Let's do it. Let's let's join uh, in Santa's Gladiator Games. They never let poor Rudolph in any Gladiator Games. Right? Then one foggy Christmas Eve, some guy came to say, Rudolph, with your gun so big, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Oh, that takes on a whole new meaning. Santa's sleigh, S L A Y. Okay, I... Okay. I won. Give me that. Give me that. Goodbye, sir. The new one we got. Ow! Lies game. Missed that last one, but they're dead. <laughs> okay, they were in the fire, not me. Nice if like the first moment you're available to get hit, you didn't get hit. Just saying, it'd be nice. Oh, 
I never get to do that one. Popcorn? And the winner is Kenshiro! Obviously it's me. I am great, thank you. Shower me with showers. Oh, they're just throwing money at me? That's very nice. I'll take that. Yes, obviously I'm Kenshiro in the winner. Give me your stuff. Do you have any poly pockets? I would like those. Just throw them in. Um, special bonus? I got no special bonus. I wasn't special or perfect. It only took me three minutes, so that was good. I don't know. I find that kind of boring. I've never been a big fan of arena stuff. Like, we're not really doing anything new there. We're just like... It's kind of boring. And there's so much you do in the arena. So many of these mini-games are insanely tedious. Like, there's just so much going on in the Colosseum. Like, look at this thing. Take on a duel. Look at how they've arranged these duels. So you go here, and there's, there's all these different levels. Each fighter you can fight ten times to get different items, right? So each time we fight them, they get stronger. And so each time you fight them, you get one of these items that's listed here. And then there's uh, four, eight, eleven fighters. All right. So there's eleven fighters that you can fight ten times each. Is that like 110 fights or something like that? Like, holy crap, man. I mean, they might have some, like, really nice... Like, that guy has, like, engines and stuff on him and car parts, but... Jesus Christ, that's just... That is insanely tedious. That is so grindy. Need to rush, Kenshiro. That is so insanely grindy. It feels just like. It feels. It kind of feels like busy work, you know, at like school. And that's. That's not fantastic. A lot of them feel that way. Like that. That getting that debt for a hundred million feels very much like busy work for the club. They didn't have to do it that way. Like they just could have had like missions for the club, but nope. We'll tie. We'll tie a mission into you playing the same missions like hundreds of times. Like, why would you willingly want to? do that you can you can have unique missions tied to the club and you can like raise its rank and stuff like that that's cool 
but to like tie in such tedious things i don't get it i i really don't get it like the yakuza the first yakuza game had some stuff like that but it wasn't like this level of like grindiness it had some stuff but yeah, nothing nothing quite on this level I thought maybe with Ray and Toe we might like run across some neat stuff. Maybe you can't do anything with Ray. Maybe if Ray's like tagging along, there aren't things that you can like access or do. Possible. How many sub stories have we done? I've done like half of them. It said 36 out of 80, so not even half. We can't do that guy. That's a nighttime thing. So a bunch of them, bunch of the bounties. All right, let's go. Let's go see where we're taking Ray here. Oh my goodness. Who are you? Oh. You're nobody. Like, even that little girl right there that we just passed at the stall, her thing is like, her little side story thing is like insanely tedious too. Like, collect these like random parts and bring them back to her and then do it hundreds of times. I don't... I, I honestly don't know why they made everything so... It's, it's really bad padding. It's not exciting padding. Oh, where'd this guy go? Yeah, maybe we can't do the sub-story stuff with Ray in tow. That's probably it. Everyone's out. I have no idea where we're going. Where are we going with him? Oh, to the casino. Okay. We have to go all the way around. This arcade place. Can I go in? No. Can we not like go into places because Ray's around? Can I go in here? Yeah. Well, why can't I go in the arcade? This is definitely a place we can go. Maybe it's not open yet. Maybe it's only a nighttime thing? Okay, we're going to the casino. Like, it Whoa. focuses on the door like all the other places, so it's got to be, like, something similar. Uh... Hello, sir. Welcome, Mr. Kenshiro. I'm looking for a seven-scarred man wearing a helmet. Ah, the rowdy gentleman. I'd hope not to revisit those uncomfortable memories you see at first i mistook him for you what with all the scars but he started getting aggressive when he realized that losing was inevitable so i had a word with him he suddenly grew quite jolly when he realized i had mistaken him for you he sounded nothing like you of course <laughs> i realized something was off and asked him politely to leave with that he pulled out a shotgun and bellowed Say my name one more time. At that point, there was no turning back. He seemed quite baffled when I answered, Mr. Kinshiro, Savior of Eden. He stated, pardon my crudeness, that you must be hot shit round these parts, and left, laughing all the way. Why do you think Jaggy came to the city? It doesn't make sense. I don't know either. We need more info. Right. Excuse me, sir? Can you tell us anything else? Not much, I'm afraid. 
Though he did later cause a scene at the bar. I hear they're open in the evenings. All right. Thanks. Let's call it a day. I'll ask around a few more spots. We can regroup at the bar. Feel free to take a nap in your room until sunset. Got it. I wonder if we're ever going to be, like, freely able to, like, turn it from night into daytime. There's got... We have to be able to. I'm just gonna go back. We haven't done any, like, nighttime stuff in a while. I can't go out into the, uh... Uh... Wastelands when it's, uh... Yeah, see, now he's back. I don't think we could have done stuff. Damn it to hell, hey. what am I gonna do? Is something wrong? Huh? Hey, Kenshiro. You came at the perfect um, time. Well, I got word there's more people needing help out there. Huh. More, huh? How many this time? Yeah. Three. Same as last time. Left three minutes to save them. <sighs> but my buggy still isn't fixed. I hate to ask. Could you please help me out again, please? Yeah. Sure, I'll help out. Yeah. Thanks, Kenshiro. I really appreciate it. Let's get to work. Uh, you got it, pal. You got it, pal. You got it, pal. That's a good song. Good song. Very good song. Rescue all three people within three minutes. The first is in the northwest corner of the Northern Plains. Hurry. Oh, it's to my right. You know, I wish there was like a little indicator on the map. That would be helpful. Where am I going? Okay, just kind of like straight ahead now. There's nothing that indicates anything. Yeah, I see him. Bam. <laughs> hey, you here to yeah. rescue me? Yeah, get on. Thanks. The second is near a big rock in the western area of the northern plains. Hurry. Go in this direction. You was you were re-watching the Batman for a third time. You think people dislike it because they hate that movie twilight no i don't hate it because it has um robert pattinson i actually like robert pattinson he's been in a bunch of stuff that i've like genuinely enjoyed i dislike it because i think it's a bad movie <laughs> i think they tried a little bit too hard to be edgy and cool i like the fact that it's like they're like turning Batman into more of a detective. Like, going back to his roots. Like, I really like that. I think that's very cool. But it has nothing to do with Pattinson. It has everything to do with, I think, everything about that movie just isn't very good. <laughs> you learn the joys of Pattinson on Tenet but also The Lighthouse. I don't like The Lighthouse either, but he's been in some other stuff that's really solid. He was in a, uh, the first time, I had, I think I've seen the first Twilight movie, but I enjoyed him in two other movies. He was in something called The Rover with Guy Pierce, which is fantastic, and he's in something called, uh, God, it was a David Cronenberg movie, and that was really good, and I went, okay, I think Robert Pattinson has got some. He's a fine actor. He was just, I mean, you can't, I mean, look at, look at, um, Kristen, uh, Stewart. She's fantastic, too. Um, uh, uh. Pattinson, uh, not Kubrick, uh, Cronenberg. Cosmopolis. Cosmopolis. 
Yeah, Cosmopolis is fantastic too. I also, uh, I'm also a bit of a Cronenberg fanboy, so just about, I haven't seen his newest thing, but I like that. And yeah, I mean, Cosmopolis is fantastic. It's got Christoph Walls in it as well. Really, really good. You like the scene in Lighthouse when he walks like a dog? I did not like Lighthouse. I don't think it was terrible. I don't like the fact that people call it a horror movie. It's not a horror movie. Even a little bit. Even even a little bit. I don't think it's a horror movie. Is it? Does it have like thrilling parts and is it dramatic? Sure. But I would never call that movie a horror movie. It, it's weird that people want to call that a horror movie. Just because it was done by the same guy that did The Witch, right? I don't, I don't remember his name. I would, I would not call it a horror movie. I also, like, I think the performances were fine. I just didn't like the movie. It just didn't do it for me. It felt, kind of felt boring. I was not entertained by it. I was, I was, I was pretty much bored out of my mind. It just wasn't for me. I like art house stuff. Don't get me wrong, but there was not much about that movie that I was like, oh man, this is very engaging, and I want to continue watching this. I mean, it's two guys going crazy, right? Cool concept. I like that. You know, slowly losing their shit because of you know cabin fever, and and the high stress situation that they're in. Not just like being trapped on an island with nowhere to go. And it's a super stressful job. Yep. Yep. Cool idea, but it just bored me to tears. I just was not a fan of the lighthouse. Tenet is a god awful movie, though. That's like genuine trash. You can't you can't understand any dialogue because there's constantly poorly sound balancing in that movie. It is engineered so fucking poorly. So you can bear you have to like watch with in any Christopher Nolan movie, you have to watch with subtitles on or else you're you're not picking up anything people are saying. And they talk like this while there's giant explosions going on. So they talk in like a lower tone too, so it makes it impossible to understand. But the problem with Tenet is not necessarily understanding the dialogue. The whole plot doesn't fucking make sense. Like, if you put any ounce of weight onto that straw house it falls apart that whole movie is built on special effects that's it it's the only thing that that movie has going for it. if you put any ounce of thought into that plot it just falls apart it's a horrible movie it's like genuinely trash it's one of the worst movies uh christopher nolan has ever put out it's like bad all around cool concept cool concept i like the idea behind it and some of the some of the scenes are actually really cool to watch but movie's just trash it's just awful it's just genuinely awful but i don't i don't think any of like the actors are bad per se it's just it's a bad movie the last cronenberg was hell of a lot of body horror i need to check that out i need to check that out it just came out like a year or two ago. You're thinking of seeing Tenet? I mean, make up your own mind, dude. Watch it. You may love it. You may enjoy it. I just... I'm I'm not a fan of Nolan's stories, apparently. I mean, he's got some good stuff. I, I do like some of his movies, but, man, some of his shit, like, I just absolutely dislike. When I... When I when I like something of his, I like it. When I dislike it, it's not just like I don't have a meh with with Christopher Nolan. It's either I like what he put out or I absolutely hate it. You like Tenet, but it's kind of formulaic. What's formulaic about Tenet? Hey. Get on. Yes. Right. I just think the story's nonsensical because it is. Even where it defies expectation, it does it in an expected way. Okay. Go for it. Third is near a big rock in the southern area of the northern plains. Hurry. Okay. Where are we going? Behind us. Alright, but you're not... No. Give me an example in the movie. Tell me in the movie where that is. 
I just I just want to know so I can be like, okay, cool. Because what you're saying right now isn't saying anything. I want. I want where it was. Like, what about it is this? Like, I want examples. There we go. I want examples. You're here to help? Yeah, you're the last one. Get on. Thank you. I made it. Yeah, in plenty of time. Like, you know someone's gonna die, but it has to happen in a time shift. The dude the wall forms on. The meeting with Michael Caine with the expository data dump. Okay, but like... Yeah. Explain? Hey, way to go, Kenjiro. Thanks to you, we were able to save everyone. This is for today. Take it. High Road Racer. Hey. How long till your buggy's fixed? Yeah. Should be pretty soon. Then you won't have to worry about helping me yeah. anymore. Sounds good. <sighs> Still, there's been a pretty large increase in the number of people who need help. I don't know if it'll be enough. Um... You don't mind. I could certainly use the extra help even after my buggy's fix. I'll pay you, of course. Just don't want anyone else to die. Huh? What happened to you in the past? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Sorry. Didn't mean to get sentimental. Just think about it, okay? Thanks again. You know exactly how it's going down, but then she's still there to see him walk out unscathed. Your real issue was the car fire. You didn't like the backwards wound either. They messed with even the in-movie universe? Alright, I mean, you're, you're saying a lot of stuff, but you're not explaining anything. Can you explain that better? Like, I'm not trying to defend the movie here. I'm just trying to understand what you mean by what you're saying. I want... I want more exposition. You know? You're saying stuff, but with not anything behind it. I want to, I want to know where you're coming from. So your real issue was the car fire. What about the car fire? You didn't like the backwards wound either. What about the backwards wound? Well, I'm the one having the conversation here. Don can go la 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 if Don wants. Don, if you don't want spoilers or anyone that doesn't want spoilers, don't listen. <laughs> go for it. The movie's been out for like four years, f something like that now, right? Three, four years. Want to know what you mean? I want, I want more music, man. Alright, rest until nightfall. Alright. Oh, I thought we were just gonna, like, start something right up there. Are we... Where are we going? Are we going back to the casino? No, we're going to Rob's bar. Interesting. wonder why we're going to Rob's bar.
wonder where we'll get this lady's food from. The fire should have just been in a massive implosion into a small fire into nothing. Okay. Go ahead. Wait, are there like no more like people that we fight in town because everyone's like we're gonna fix up the town like, no more thugs in town thugs that's interesting well see that doesn't help me saying they had some stuff oh here we go i missed part of that the wound should have already been a wound. The bullet came out of sealing itself. He had some stuff about wound path, but still. Right, you should have had the wound, right? So. Well, yeah, and that's that the wound is one of that 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 bullet. That wound is one of the biggest things that causes everything to fall apart. That's one of the things that drove me nuts because that's one of the things for me that made absolutely no sense if you thought about it. You just kind of, there are certain things that you just have to like shake your head and accept because if you think about it, it makes no fucking sense. It just doesn't work. And I agree that like that early on, that shot that he takes, like at the beginning of the movie, you're just like, what the fuck? My, my, my initial reaction was just like, wait, what? I had to pause the movie and like go like, hold on, <laughs> hold on. That was my, that was the first moment in the movie and it's like 15 minutes in that made me angry. And I went, that doesn't make sense. And there's so many moments like that. Some of them work. Some of the mo some of the things are kind of like loosely thought out, but a lot of it isn't. A lot of it isn't. It's, it's bad time travel. It's bad time for us. It's it's super bad time travel. Good, you're here. Let's go in. Okay, let's. Oh, it's you. I'm looking for the man with seven scars. The helmeted one. That fellow caused quite a scene. What happened? He kidnapped one of my employees. That's a scene. And the other night he came in, didn't even order a drink. He just sat there staring at the other guests. He kept mumbling to himself. Things like, them ears look like my little bro's, and those hands look like his. Little bro, huh? We got hit with a big rush, so a server asked him to order something or leave. He rose, glaring. You could cut the tension with a knife. Eventually, he noted that they were the same height, and burst out laughing. Then, he suddenly stopped laughing, and stabbed my employee with nothing but his hand. His hand? Yes, with uncanny speed. Poor boy couldn't do a thing. And what happened next? He said, I'm gonna borrow this guy, and dragged him off. If he wanted to kill him, he could have done so right then and there. I reported the incident to the watch. I see. What do you make of that, Ken? Kidnapping someone his own height? I just don't get it. Well, the barkeep said he filed a report with the watch. Maybe they'll know something we don't. Yeah, let's check the barracks. Should have been walking around all movie with a bullet scar. You didn't know where it came from. 
until it happened. Wait, I was talking about the one that happened at the beginning of the movie. There is no she. Who are you talking about? Yeah, the one at the concert. That's the one where everything, like, initially falls apart. That's the bullshit one. That's the thing that makes no fucking sense. That's the one that drove me nuts. That's the one that made me angry. I was talking about the first one that happens at the beginning of the movie where it's just like... And now your whole universe makes no I sense immediately. Place, like one of the first things they show and like everything's already falling apart. It's like he didn't show any sort of carry. Attention to detail and that kind of thing is really important. If you're going to have a movie about like cool time travel and shit like that, you have to make sure it stands up to at least a little bit of scrutiny. Just about everything you think about in that movie does not stand up to scrutiny. That's my problem with Tenet. Cool idea, but I think I think what, what Nolan did, I think what Nolan does by and large is he comes up with an idea and then forms things around that idea. And those things are very poorly put together. So I think he was just like, what if we came up with this like cool idea for this scene where some things are going, like the way the cars move is not correct either. And he came up with an idea of, like, how to, like, do a scene where one thing's going forward and another thing's going backwards at the same time. Cool concept. And then he built stuff around it, but he didn't try to build stuff around it. He just, like, loosely put things together. So instead of building a plot, he built something around, like, ideas that for, like, movie spectacles rather than, like, an actual cohesive working plot that made sense he then he did it the wrong way he focused on the wrong thing it's the same thing with inception like i feel like he had an idea of how like they're gonna like delve into minds but that's what took first and foremost the idea behind it it's just a heist movie but it's the dumbest heist movie ever written i'd rather watch ronin than watch inception inception is just a really poorly put together heist movie. <laughs> You're saying that the bullet wound the girl takes doesn't work like the bullet wound that chair or the bulletproof glass take? You say something else about Ronin? I was saying Ronin is a good movie. What do you mean? I was saying I'd rather watch a good movie than a shitty movie. What do you mean? say something else about Ronan. I wasn't like talking down about it. I was saying Inception was garbage and Ronan is good. That's why I literally said I would rather watch Ronan than Inception. Yeah, even Ronan is better. Ronan's amazing. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, Ronan's great. I don't know. I mean, a shitty heist movie, uh, the remake of The Italian Job. I would rather watch that. Um, I would rather watch Gone in 60 Seconds. That's a heist movie. They're stealing cars. Um shitty heist movies that 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 dumb that dumb ben stiller we're gonna rob the tower movie i'd rather watch that i'd rather watch oceans 13 than inception there you go there is some like questionably bad heist movies does it does that sound better i was just saying like a really good heist movie that's all like rafifi rafifi Freaking immaculate. One of the best heist movies ever created.
Oh, do Rafifi. Fantastic. Great. Thick as Thieves with Baldwin Brower and Michael Jai White. I've never heard as Thick as Thieves. Whoa. Hey, what? You said Thieves and all I thought was the Billy Bob Thornton and uh, uh, Bruce Willis movie. <laughs> oh, I plan to stand there. Bruce Willis, uh, Billy Bob Thornton, what was that called? Bandits. <laughs> yeah. Bandits. Mm, beavers and ducks. Uh, that's a better movie. <laughs> That's a better movie. I've never even heard of Thick as Thieves. What Baldwin? What Baldwin? I gotta go pee real quick. That might be worth checking out. I like good heist movies if it's interesting. Oh, God. Uh, that that magic movie. Oh, God. That terrible magic movie where they're like, magic. Oh, God. And it's got like Michael Caine and uh, 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 Morgan Freeman and jesse eisenberg that trash movie i'd rather watch that that movie's abysmal and they made two of them that movie's absolutely abysmal i'd rather watch that than watch inception inception is is not good is not good is not good cool ideas some 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 interesting cinema some interesting shots but not a good movie But, I really loved Interstellar. I thought Interstellar was fantastic. I thought Interstellar was wonderful. I really enjoyed that. But that one, that one didn't go, like, extra stupid. It wasn't trying to, like... Eh, it was trying to hide some stuff behind fancy individu in, uh, visuals, but not in the same way not in the same way i mean it, it gets it gets a little high-minded there at the end it was always headed towards that i liked i liked interstellar i liked interstellar and what was it uh like 1917 or whatever that was his forget nolan movies Dunkirk that was it 1917 was something else I like Dunkirk I love the prestige that was his he did the prestige the prestige is awesome I really like that one that might be 
That and The Dark Knight are probably my two favorite of his. Like, I really like The Prestige. I like, uh... Oh god, what's his name? Christian Bale. I like Christian Bale. Oh, it's just about anything with Christian Bale in it. I like that dude. He's a fine actor. Key? He made a movie called Key? Oh, it's a short. I need to watch uh, Oppenheimer. I think every time I look him up and I see Insomnia in there and I'm like, oh right, he remade Insomnia. I always forget that he remade Insomnia. Insomnia is not bad. Insomnia is not bad at all. I mean, Robin Williams, Al Pacino, Hilary Swank, that's... They do a good job. It's a, it's a solid remake. Insomnia is a solid remake. I like that. I like the original better, but Insomnia is a good remake. Memento's okay. I don't have anything wrong with Memento. It's a cool concept. Memento works better than Tenet does. Memento works better. Nolan has this fascination with telling stories out of order i've never watched the following i own it but i've, I've never watched it the original does more with the cold gray slush everywhere i think in large part that was like when they filmed it they also filmed it in two different places one's in like norway and the other one is in alaska oh let the Right One In is one of my favorite movies of all time, the original. That movie just... The, the, the remake of Let the Right One In is almost shot for shot the same movie. There's definitely something missing from it, but I love... Both of them are good, but the, the original Let the Right One In is just on another level. It's not just one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Right place, right time for me. That movie caught me off guard. Like, I went in with low expectations. I went, this is going to be stupid. Children, vampires, whatever. We'll watch it. Sure, whatever. Like, I hadn't heard anyone recommend it. I just randomly picked it up. And I went, holy shit. Most kid actors drive me nuts. Those kids in that movie just they were amazing they were amazing and not to take anything away from chloe moretz but those kids and let the right one in whatever was that swedish oh my god man yeah yeah that that movie is just the original let the right one in just has something that the remake doesn't and they're they're very close movies they're very close but holy crap that original is just amazing genuinely one of my favorite movies I've ever watched S straight up and it's got kid actors in it I, I barely ever say that every once in a while man kids nail it kids nail it good for them yeah it was it's it's dark it's depressing yeah it's lonely yeah they they, they get it really well done bleak bleak is a great way to put it they are more bleak. Both of both the insomnia and let the right one enter a bit more bleak. I mean, I would say the same thing even with like Michael Haneke's um Oh shit, what's the name of that? All I can think is happiness and that's not the name of the movie. Got Michael Haneke remade um uh... think of it funny games good lord my, my ipad is so jacked up funny games funny games is like shot for shot the same movie just different actors and there's still something about his original austrian movie 
That's got a child actor in it too. Funny Games is one of my one of my favorite movies too. Actually, I like a lot of Michael Haneke's work. Just about everything I've seen of his. If you like just feeling despair and that feeling of nothing you can do, Michael Haneke's movies have these like very long disquieting shots that just make you uncomfortable i don't know how he does it but it's like if you felt uncomfortable watching the office watching a movie by michael haneke just makes your skin crawl and there it's not like disgusting things are happening it's not like it's you know like you're watching uh uh What's the the human centipede? It's not like that kind of thing. It's just the situations he puts you in. It's just so wildly uncomfortable. And he lingers. Oh, he does a great job with lingering. Just these awkward lingering moments that just oh, gives you the heebie-jeebies. And despite the fact that Funny Games was remade, yeah, by the same director, shot for shot. I still like the original better. And that's not to say that, like, the remake is bad. The remake's fantastic. He did a great job with it. Naomi Watts and uh, Tim Roth, right? They do a great job. What's up, Kale Gortrout? But, yeah, the whole point was, I do like some of Nolan's movies. I do like some of Nolan's movies. They're not all god-awful messes and trash. They're not. They're not. But I don't I don't have, like, a middle ground with him. I either love the movie or hate it. Like, I love Batman Begins. I love The Dark Knight. I hate The Dark Knight Returns. Like, it's not like, eh, it's okay. No, I, like, despise that movie. That movie is awful. <laughs> so bad. So bad. So bad. Am I supposed to be going in here? I don't remember where they told me to go. No. Now, holy crap, this place is popping. Oh, do you think because it's an S rank? That's why there's so many people here because it's now S rank? I bet you that's it. Alright, we have to come back here without Ray. Hey, Ray, spend some money in my place. Get you some. Hey, over here. Like, I can still drink. Yeah, how's life treating you, Kyogre Trout? Where are we going? Oh, we're going where? To the barracks. Gotcha. Yeah, we can't do any uh, side quests or anything with Ray in tow. We got we got ditch this this third wheel. Oh, we need to rush, Ken. You stayed up way too late tonight, but you beat Baldur's Gate. Nice, dude. Way to go. Yeah, it's really late, man. It's like 4 a.m. You got you got to get your nappies on. Did you enjoy Baldur's Gate? Make you happy? Was it worth it? Two hundred twenty-two hours. Damn, you put in that real grind. That's a lot of time, man. That is not a short game. Kenshiro, Ray, how can I help? I want to know more about the hump. Mm. <laughs> Just burping. Uh, I want to know more about the helmeted seven scarred man. Oh, I um. You know something. You should talk to the captain. He could tell you more. Where's Jagray anyway? He just left to interview some witnesses. I expect he'll be back sometime around midday. I see. Ken, let's rest up and come back in the afternoon. Jagray should be done by then. Yeah. You did all that you could? I mean, that's sweet, man. That's super sweet. You think you got the best good ending? Nice! Were you a goody two shoes? Ow! 
Making all the people happy. Doing all the good deeds. You have a hard time making naughty choices? Yeah, I know how you feel. I tend to be a goody two shoes too, so I got you. Except when I'm allowed to cause a little chaos. Like bumping into people. This is light chaos. There's no consequence. Ow! 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 Maybe you'll try in the next playthrough. Do you want to play through it again? Like try like a new character build or something like that? I'm a menace. You know it. It makes me feel good, though. Oh, who's this lonely man standing by the tree? Look. How are you feeling? Hmm? I can't wait for you to grow. Is he... fucking to a tree? There you go. Hey, look! It's that old guy again. Oh, you're right. You know that old man? Yeah. I know he's always talking to that tree. I don't know anything else about him. I've never talked to him. Ah, he looked at us. What? Let's go play over there. Yeah, okay. It is nighttime. Go to bed, children. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I scared them off. Ugh. Oh, hello. Are you growing this tree? I am. I noticed that it was dying, so I started taking care of it. Thankfully, yes. it's looking healthy again. Mm, we have two different definitions of healthy. Um, that's a Charlie Brown tree, and uh, that's dead, brother. <laughs> yeah, you want another go? Nice. What do you think you're gonna do? You already know you're going to run Cyberpunk again as a reflex-boosting nomad. No cyber deck for her. Nice. That sounds cool. You were way too skimpy on scrolls and potions. Going to make more use of them next time? Did you play through on normal or did you play through on hard? And now that you have like a better understanding, if you play through on normal, will you increase the difficulty for your second playthrough? I don't have my wife and children anymore. Helping this tree grow has given me a new sense of purpose. Oh, this is sub story too. I was wondering where that was. Is that right? This tree's gonna get even bigger, and one day it'll watch over all the children growing up here in Eden. That's not the only reason I'm taking care of it. Once it bears fruit, I plan to share it with the children. In a time like this, I want the children to understand the importance and the joy of harvesting. Too bad the kids here are always avoiding me. Ha 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 Probably your laugh. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to listen to an old fool. Feel free to stop by whenever you like. I'd appreciate it. Sure. Um. Can I stop by now? I'm, uh, I'm here? Yeah, this one was on normal. You'll think you'll do Tactician hard this next time around. You'll look it up, but you think the enemies just have more health. Not sure if their AI or stats change. Generally speaking, in those kinds of games, yeah, the... You usually beef up the stats. Certainly, more health. The enemies will do more damage. And generally speaking... They usually crank up the AI to be a bit more brutal as well. At least in my experience and that kind of stuff, that's usually what they do. Uh, 
So you better stay on your toes. I've watched some people play through it on hard. I think it was Tactician and yeah, sometimes they got like obliterated in a fight or two, but they figured it out and it wasn't too bad. You just need to, I mean, I think you're doing it probably the right way. You're going through and you know, you got, you got your feet wet. So you like have a full understanding of like the mechanics at hand. Um, I don't think there's a wrong way either. I'll rephrase that. I think you're doing it in a more conducive way for a playthrough. Because it's super easy to be able to just, like, play a game on hard and then just get frustrated because you don't have a full grasp of things. You're going to go in with, like, a full head of knowledge. And I've watched some people mightily struggle. And I've watched some other people, like, not struggle too much at all with it on hard. So I don't think it's, like... Too difficult, or at least it doesn't appear to be that way. But even more of a reason, you get to like play through again, new character, new build, possibly new choices. That sounds pretty good to me. Might use more spells, yeah. I think they have like, yeah, larger repertoire of uh, move sets and stuff like that. For sure, dude. For sure. All right, let's go up. We haven't been up in a while. Let's go check it out. Nobody. Why'd you let me? You should have told me there was nobody up here, you clown. You damn clown. It's good to hear. You think you can do it? Also going to buy more equipment. You might have missed some stuff because you felt you were lacking in the equipment department for some of the characters. Possible. It's possible. You gotta be kidding me. They said the gates are open now, so there's like no reason these people can't come in and hang out with us. Be pals. You buddy pals? Well, either way, I hope you have a very enjoyable uh, second playthrough. Are you gonna are you gonna play through it immediately, or are you gonna play another game in between? You're just gonna you liked it so much, you're just gonna fire it right back up and jump right back in. What about you, Axe Man? Have you you haven't beat Cyberpunk yet, right? Are you just gonna fire it up and jump back in? You had like over 50k in liquid and gold and tons of items to sell. So you just buy everything you see. I wonder if money becomes more of an issue in uh, in hard mode. Is there a new game plus or anything like that that you can do in Baldur's Gate? It was a weird invisible thing to walk into. We're walking around and there don't seem to be much. Uh, there don't seem to be much around here. Yeah, like over 50k in gold and liquid and tons of items, so you should, you're right. That doesn't appear to be. You think they keep the campaign separate? Mm. I don't know, sometimes they let you do, you know, like a, uh, an encore. You know, whoops and boo. Oh, shit, here we go. What is this? <sighs> bah! What am I gonna do? Hmm? Hello. I haven't seen you around. You a newcomer? <gasps> what do you want? Hmm. So... You're from the outside. See, I grabbed this place so I could start making some money. What are you selling? Like it says on the board, it's an arcade. A gaming hall. Oh, I love gaming. It's called a game center. Nostalgic, right? Arcade? You have games in there? Yeah. Yeah, you know, 
video games, like computers, but made so folks can have fun? Folks used to get real excited about these beauties. Games helped to smile when things got tough. Of course, they don't really make them anymore. Hmm. They don't exist out of a job. <laughs> True, they don't make them, but if I just had one working game, it'd be enough to stay in business. Need some old rogue game machines? Yeah. Yeah, they say you can find that stuff in the wastelands. I'd love to go, but I gotta mind the store and no car. But you, you're from out of town, right? Have you've got a buggy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then come on, I'm begging you. If you find an old game machine, could you bring it here? The truth is, it's supposed to be an arcade, but I don't have a single game cabinet. <sighs> really? I can't even open the store as it is, so why would you buy a place with nothing in it? And no way of acquiring the thing you want? This guy's dumb. <laughs> I can't even open the store as it is, so can you give me That's a hand? Right. And I'll pay good money for one. Come on, please. Hmm. Fine. I'll keep it in mind. If you find any game machines, bring them here. I need to give these people some real fun. Arcade machines can be found with a treasure map. Treasure maps can be found either when you defeat enemies in Eden or the Wasteland, or when you assist people in need. If you find any maps, be sure to try and track down some old game machines. Dude, I want to do that. That sounds awesome. It's RNG based, but yeah, that sounds cool. I love arcade game machine things. I wonder if they'll be like, uh, Japan likes to call them UFO games. They're the, the grabber hands, the grabby hands. Cause that's, that's pretty big in the Yakuza games. They like to, uh, they like to throw those in there. Oh, oh, no, this guy isn't anything. Uh, we need to go to Rob's so we can beat up some bullies. This guy isn't anything. He's like, oh man, that shop looks real shady. And then we poo-poo him. We poo-poo. Poo-poo. Poo. Ow. Poo. Ow. 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 Okay, now notice, Rob is right here, outside. This is Rob. Now we're going to go inside. Oh, maybe we won't see Rob. Because we have a fight. Oh, yeah, see, now Rob's over there. See? 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 The hell? Hey, Chief. I'll have the usual. You again? Keep freeloading off my food and I won't have a business huh? left to run. Oh, we've already dealt with this before. Yeah. Bastard. The hell? Die! I think because he had a ruffian in there that we didn't get to do the, the bounty. S plus! Thank you very much. I want to damn jerky rob. I want to beat up some criminal scum. Right over here? Where? Is he the criminal scum? I don't see any criminal scum in here. Does Rob know where the criminal scum is? He knows. Where's the criminal scum? I heard a group of bandits off in meets here. They not here yet? Ah, you're another bounty hunter? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you can get rid of those guys. I'm tired of seeing hunters become the hunted. You should be coming in now. <laughs> Back again, barkeep. Come on, give me some grub. 
Bring on the booze! Perfect timing. <gasps> huh? What the hell are hey. you? The one on the wanted poster. <laughs> hmm? You're a bounty hunter. Ha 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 ha! That's rich. If you think you can beat all of us yourself, you're either a rookie or a complete dumbass. Go have some fun, boys. First one to kill him gets a reward. <gasps> yeah, let's do this. Okay. But if I beat you up, do I get a reward? Of course I do. I get money. I'll kill you. No, I'll kill you with kindness. I didn't get hit. You're so strong, it's almost scary. Thank you. Where'd the bounty run off to? He hightailed it after seeing what you did to his friends. I think he went to the back alley. Got it. You call the guards. Yeah, that's right. That's the right reaction. If you see that I did that, you would totally run. Ugh! Yeah! Hey. Hey, what happened? Help me! He's badly wounded. He doesn't have long. I've called the guards. Help's on the way. Who did this to you? A man with a knife. He had an ice cold look in his eyes. He stabbed me over and over saying, This is no good. What'd he look like? He. he was. Ah, What's wrong? Ah. What? Kenshiro. Oh. It was like this when I found him. All I've learned is that he was killed by a man with a knife. The man stabbed him multiple times saying, this is no good. These wounds are from a very sharp blade. The brutality is just like the river. <clears throat> what? This is definitely our wanted man. Here's your reward. Oh, thank you. I'll take $600,000 for not beating that guy up. You got it. This was done by the Ripper. Mm. You won't know until further investigation, but you can leave the rest to me. Thanks for your help. Ah, hoodlum hunter. Got him. We took that easy baby down. You know where we took him. Town. All right, well, let's go back to the barracks and pick up the next bounty. That was super duper easy. She has, she wants, uh, she wants something we can't give her. She wants the goods. Like Madeline Woods. Uh, from Malik the Five Foot Creep. That's it. Creepy, creepy, creepy. And hun, you look good like Madeline Wood. Wait, isn't that lady dead? Doesn't matter. Now's not the time to go chasing bounties. I need to focus on the task at hand. Boom! A cereal, it's the five foot freak, oh, not creep. I know. Oh, we need to make it daytime, don't we? Gotta go rest again.
Dang it. Didn't seem like there was anything out there. We could go over to the nightclub and see if something pops up. We haven't been in there since we made it an S star. We should go look at it real quick and see if something's happening over there. There's a there's a there's it's like a hoot nanny. It's like a doggone hoot nanny. Yeah. The hoot nanny. Oh, every restaurant has a rob. I wonder if we should go check out our um. Hey. Our uh, bartending job, Kenshiro. You got a second? What? Take a look at that. I mean, the guy that's standing, like, creepily close to you. Aww. Oh. Hina. Don't you think Hina's been a little low on energy lately? Has she? Yeah. She always looks like she's got something on her mind. But when I ask, she just says nothing. You mind talking to her and seeing what's up? Me? Yes. Well, you won't tell me anything. Maybe it's something she doesn't want to share with the girls. She might talk to you, and listening to the girls' problems is a big part of your job. That's right. That's right. I'm sorry, but could you please try talking to her? I should see what's bothering Hina. Troubles and changes. Oh, I don't want to know about that, dude. I mean, like, that's personal. Alright. Hina. Huh? Oh, Mr. Kenshiro. What's wrong? Nothing. You just seem a little sad lately. Is everything all right? <laughs> I guess you know everything, Mr. Kenshiro. I'd like your opinion on something. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Um, I don't really want to talk here, so let's go somewhere quiet. Somewhere quiet, huh? Uh... The cathedral, the wasteland, the bar. Let's go to the bar. How about a bar? Yes. Yeah, a bar. Good idea. You know a good one, Mr. Kenjiro? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yes, sir. We could go to my bar. A good bar. Popular bar. People hang out there. Like me. And you. Oh, is this actually a good... I wanted the wrong choice. Hmm, this is really good. You picked a good place. So, what do you want to talk about? I wanted to pick the wrong place. I picked bar because I thought it would be noisy and obnoxious. Oh, um, usually don't ask things like this, but do you think I'm cute? Mm hmm? No. Do? Do you think I'm cute, Mr. Kenshiro? can't go on without you. What? Huh? I, um... What do you mean? Are you confessing your love to me? Oh, dear. I don't know what to say. Wait. I just... I... Um... If you're serious, then I'm... Meant that... Can't keep the nightclub open without... What? What? My goodness. Don't say it like that, then. I totally misunderstood. I'm so embarrassed. Sorry. It's all right. Let's get back on topic, yeah. okay? Okay. I... I want people to think I'm sexy. Sexy? Mm-hmm. We have lots of sexy girls at the club, you know? Like Miss Emma. Honestly, I'm jealous. I think they're great. I'm supposed to be the cute girl, but... I don't think cute lasts very long. So, I want to try being sexy. Just don't know how. That's what you're worried about. Mm-hmm. All the other girls are so sexy, but they're competition, so I can't just ask them how they do it. Most of our customers are men, so I thought I'd get a man's opinion. I'm really happy you're taking the time to talk to me. Yeah? Mr. Kenshiro? How can I be more sexy? 
I don't know. I was a customer. What would I want? Show some more skin. Touch the customers. Wear more makeup. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I like I like the more makeup route. Not show more skin. Touch the customers. <laughs> Touch the customers. <laughs> that one. What if you... Touch the customers. Huh? Um... You saying I should seduce the customer by touching them? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that what being sexy is all about? No. No, I don't think that's called being sexy. I mean, customers might get the wrong idea. Thought that was the point. They said that's what sexy is, getting the wrong idea. <laughs> Besides, I want to be a sexy girl, not just a girl who does sexy things. Hmm, then... Uh... Uh, show more skin. No, wear more makeup. Maybe try wearing more makeup. Oh, hmm, that's fair. I don't normally wear a lot of makeup. Never really thought about it. The other girls are always checking to see if their makeup looks good. Why did I not see it before? Damn it! Show more skin. Thank you, Mr. Kenshiro. I'm so glad I got to talk to you. Glad I could help. I'll work on my makeup, look sexy, and bring in even more customers. Wait and see, Mr. Kenshiro. Yeah. Hee hee hee. I think I'm feeling better now. Let's have another drink. Cheers. I wanted to choose more wrong options. I thought the more makeup would have been the wrong thing. I actually thought the show more skin was the right thing. <laughs> so what was bothering her? So that's what was bothering her. Yeah. Well, if Hina's feeling better, then I guess we're all good. Thanks, Kenshiro. If you find any of the other girls have a problem, I want you to help them too. Yeah. Hopefully Hina will do even better now. Hee <laughs> hee. I hope so. Miss Lyra? Mr. Kenshiro? Let's do our best today. Speaking of speaking of Hina. What? Good morning, Hin Whoa. Definitely more sexy. <laughs> I tried my best to make it look sexy, and you did a great job. I love the tanuki look. Raccoons are super sexy with their giant testicles. I love them. Yes, that's what I think about when I see Hina. I'm thinking big raccoon testicles. Super sexy. What do you think, Mr. Kenshiro? Do I look sexy? You better fix this, Kenjiro. Right. Hina, you should take off your makeup. Huh? Why? I was feeling really sexy. You are. You totally are. You don't need to be sexy. What? What? Why, Mr. Kenjiro? Hey, no! What are you guys doing? Not my makeup! Hina, you're perfect just the way you are. I liked her makeup. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Hina's skill went from Hina smile to Hina smile EX. Oh, god damn it, really? We could have powered her up to 9,000? Hey. Dude, I didn't even get a chance to walk away from her. We just immediately jumped into it. You have a moment? Maybe we get all the, uh, all the ladies to level up their skills. Or the <laughs> S, S class ones. What is it? Yes. Kenjiro, I, uh, I need you to be my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Um, for how long? And, um, um, there was this woman I was supposed to help, but I'm forgetting, uh, what, who, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> I forgot everything when you said boyfriend. It just, like, my brain shut down. Were you still talking? I, like, I got nothing there. What? 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 Emma, that's a bit sudden, don't you think? 
Sudden for what? We're together. Get out of this. Mind your own business. <laughs> hey! Mm hmm. You need to take time to get to know each other first. Then you can decide if you want to be together. You two stay out of this. Give me an answer, Kenshiro. Hmm. Sorry. Can't do that. God damn it, Kenshiro. You don't speak for me. Whew. What? Oh, wait. Does Hina have a thing for us? Put your clown makeup back on, Hina. I mean, raccoon makeup. Huh? What do I do now? Mm. I'm sure there's a reason she's doing this. Can you tell us what's wrong? Yes. Fine. My father. Somebody wants me to marry. Oh, arranged marriage stuff. Yeah. I told him that I'm already dating someone, so he asked, what kind of man is he? I said, he's the manager at the nightclub. What? What? Why? I have no idea. And now my father wants to meet him. If I don't have someone to introduce him to, he'll force me to get married to the guy he's picked out. The man he has in mind is pretty tough to get along with. He doesn't think a woman should work in a place like this, so I might have to quit working here. Mm. That explains things. Kenshiro, I don't really have to be your boyfriend, but could you maybe just pretend? I'm good at pretending. If she can just fool her father for the time being, she should be mm. fine. It'd be a shame if we lost you. I guess I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> That's right. You should feel honored that you get to pretend to be my boyfriend. Now, what are the benefits to this pretend boyfriend business? Well then, when are you meeting your yes. father? We're supposed to meet at the bar near the casino. Mm -hmm. You planned pretty far ahead for not knowing if Mr. Kenjiro was going to help you. Hey. hey, pipe down. Now then, I'll be waiting by Rob's bar near the casino. Yeah. Okay. I think I may go straight into another playthrough. Nice, dude. Nice, 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 nice. Still don't understand this game. It's like an arcade bartender gambling and pimping sim. Yep, you got it. And sometimes we punch people in the face and they explode. And it's very fun to do that, to make them explode. Exploding men is my favorite. I love to make men explode. Just men, though. We're not allowed to explode women for some reason. So, we explode the men. All the men. Uh, so... Our girlfriend got abducted and kidnapped by this guy and uh then she left him and she got sick and she came here and so we followed her here to like track her down and now we're like helping out the townspeople here while we try to figure out how to help our girlfriends stuck in a bubble i think that's like the gist of things Have you not seen the combat? <laughs> There's combat. Oh. Oh, over here. Hmm. This the guy? Yes. That's right. This is Emma's. This is Emma's father. You. What's your name? Hmm. Or should I introduce myself? You should introduce yourself first. Yeah, a little. Um, I'm just gonna be quiet. Did you not hear me? What's your name? Hey. Hey! You messing with me? I don't have time for games. Hey. He's a little nervous. His name's Kenshiro. <sighs> Sheesh. Can't even introduce himself. Uh-oh. Maybe yeah. we should be a good boyfriend. Listen, you. I'm not here to eat. I came to see if you're fit for Emma. Let me ask you this. What do you like hmm. about her? I like about Emma. Her good looks, her compassionate heart, three dots. <laughs> what? You don't have anything to say? That's because there's many things to love. He can't decide which he likes best. That's how you feel, isn't that right, Kenjiro? Hmm. Hmm. Is that true? 
Goodness, I just don't understand you. Let me ask you this then. What is it? You really love my daughter? No matter what kind of man you are, the most important thing is that you love her. I could never forgive someone who lies about that. If you really love her, look me in the eyes and tell me. I'm sorry, Emma. Hmm? Huh? I love Yuria. What? Kenji, bro! Yeah. I see. Well, if that's how it is, I won't let my daughter be with someone like you. Excuse me. Let's go, Emma. Hey! Daddy! Kenshiro, why? Father truly cares for you. Can't lie to someone like that. <sighs> I'm sorry. No. No. I brought this on you. This is my fault. Anyway, I need to find my father. Please excuse me. Hey! Hey, hey! You're a cute one, aren't you? How about you serve us some drinks? <laughs> Got a nice little ass there, too. Hey, hey, hey! Why don't we have some fun? Hey. I'll have to say no. Oh come on! Hey! Don't you dare touch my daughter! Oh? You were old man? That guy's like 12 feet tall. I don't think you should try to pick him. Pick up. Uh, uh, you should run. I won't let you lay one finger on her. Daddy! <laughs> well, well. Look at the balls on this old timer. You think you stand a chance against us? He probably just wants to show off in front of his daughter. Too bad I'm gonna wipe the floor with him. <sighs> oh, that guy's got a mustache, and it's crazy. <laughs> you! Kenshiro! Hey. Emma, get your father to safety and stay back. What? I'm a manager. It's my job to protect the hostesses. Yeah. Okay, I'm counting hey. on you. I'm your opponent. You won't lay one finger on these two. Oh. Eh, tough guy. Guess I'll kill you first. Oh, uh -huh. you and what army? Hate ruffians. Oh, I don't get to roar. Rush. You're already dead. Dead. Blood came out of my face. I didn't know what that guy was hitting. Got him. Combat. Yeah. You saved us. Thank you. Emma told me you were strong, but you're much stronger than I imagined. You have a moment to listen to our story? Sure. Hmm. Emma's mother passed away when she was young. It's my fault she's gone. <clears throat> what? During my days as a merchant, my wife was taken hostage by some bandits looking for gasoline. I didn't have any on me at the time, so those monsters took her away from me. I fought for her, but it was no use. Had I just been stronger, my wife wouldn't have had to die. No. Daddy, it's not your fault. I want my daughter to ever have to go through that. I want her to have a strong man. One who can protect her. Well, that's why you're forcing her to get married. Yeah. That's right. He's known to be really strong. But with you around, I guess I don't have to worry. This here is a good man, Emma. Daddy. Kenshiro? 
Please take care of my daughter. <laughs> you got it, pal. She may be stubborn like me, but she cares about her family and has a good heart. I'm proud to be your father. Please, protect her. Yeah, will do. <laughs> I can see why she would fall for a man like you. If you ever change your mind, you have my hey. blessing. What? Daddy? What are you talking about? I'm just being a good father. See? I care, right? <sighs> Ugh, Daddy, give it a rest. <laughs> okay, but we're we're now boyfriend girlfriend, right? Emma's skill grew from Emma's kiss to Emma's kiss. Yes. Kissies. Yeah, so I guess we're just uh, getting all of the uh, other ladies for, like leveling up their technique. I wonder if it makes it cost more. Because if it still costs the same, then we can fleece these uh, fools for even more moonies. Even more moonies. It's Liz's turn. Oh! Is it time already? Pardon me, I'll be right back. Mm. Hmm? All right. Time for what? Damn, she's walking like she's got to take a dump. I get it. That's what it was time for. It was pooping time. Where'd Liz go? Mm. To her old flame. She still prays in front of that tree every day. But lately, whenever she comes back, she's always got a smile on her face. <gasps> oh. We know what she's doing. Smile. Hmm. Maybe there's something good happening over there. You should go take a look if you're curious. This praise nears that big tree. So go take a look. I will. Something behind her smile. We know what that is. It's sex. She's got a boyfriend and they're doing the nasty. That's what it is. Doi. That's literally the only reason why people ever smile. When does the match start? No one else smiles for any other reason. That's science. Ow! Aha! Ow! Aha! Oh shit! You guys are beating up the old man with flamethrowers? You got my clothes all dirty, you old bastard! What are you gonna do for me in return? What? Huh? Uh, uh, I'm sorry! I was just taking care of this tree! Huh? A tree? What are you trying to raise this lame-ass tree for? What's it gonna do for you? Heh, whatever. We're nice guys, so... You forgive me? Actually, I'm gonna let you help me test out this bad boy. What? Sorry, Gramps. You wanna be forgiven? You gotta let me torch you. No hard feelings if we burn down the tree, too. All right. <laughs> No, wait, please, don't do this. Hey. Is this Emma's boyfriend, the tree? Heard your clothes got dirty. Let me clean those off for you. Uh. The hell do you want? Do I get to use the flamethrower? Oh, it's you! This guy a friend of the old man? Alright then. Well, we just have to burn them all. Wait, I don't get the flamethrower? No fair. Bye bye. Are you okay? Yes. Yes. Thank you for saving me. 
Both me and the tree are fine. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Don't worry about it. Nope. No, no. I won't have that. It's not much, but please accept this. Seeds of hope. Bunch of stupid ass seeds. What was that loud noise? What happened? Uh. Oh, it's the old tree man. Hey! Hey, look! The tree is a bud. Ooh. Huh? Where? 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 Whoa, you're right. Oh my. It's very small, but there it is. Is a flower going to bloom there? Yes. I believe so. No. Trees don't have flowers. You're a stupid child. Flowers have flowers. As long as this tree is taken care of, it should grow both beautiful flowers and delicious fruits. Oh, I want to help take care of this tree. Can I? Oh, um, me too. I want to see the fruits grow. You both. Yes, of course. We can all help this tree grow together. <laughs> hey! It's going to get really big, right? <laughs> That's right. If we take care of it, it'll grow big and strong, and so will the two of you. Great mission. All right, let's go help Liz. Hey, we'll talk to that child. Oh? Oh, Kenshiro, you here to pray too? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, who's this? <laughs> My name's Sarah. I'm Liz's friend. Go away. Friend. Okay, goodbye, Liz. All right, bye, Sarah. <laughs> it worked. Isn't Sarah cute? No. Yeah. She's a very sweet girl. She's always playing around here. She came up to me when I was praying one day. Got along very well. Now she prays with me. So that's what it was. Praying by myself used to make me sad. But now that Sarah prays with me, it makes me happy. That's why you've been smiling more. Yes. That sounds about right. Prayer time is fun thanks to her. It's time I get going. You wouldn't mind, Kenshiro? Perhaps you can come here again sometime. Then the three of us can all talk. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye for now. Must be why Liz is smiling more. Good for her. Did say a visit again. Guess I'll stop by. Uh, I wonder if we can just go in and out of the clinic. Uh, how you doing? Uh, it was nice to see you. Goodbye. Worry about your bone health. No one likes osteoporosis. Um. Well. There was nothing there. I guess we can go back to the club. I really don't want to come back. That contender was pretty strong. Aww. It's weird. Sometimes you can run through crowds of people and other times you can't. Makes no damn sense. I don't know if it's like a time thing or... Yeah, I guess we have to like meet her there again. But I don't know how that works. Tee hee. I know, right? Tee hee's great. I love tee hee. I don't know why there's arrows back here. They're not very helpful. Boop, <laughs> 
See, I made that song up, and it was the club song. That was a very good club song. What was this? Oh, she's back there now. Okay. Weird. Maybe we just had to go out of the area where the club was. I mean, where the tree was. And then come back. Maybe the clinic wasn't enough. I wonder what happened to Sarah. What's going on? She's usually here by now, but I haven't seen her yet. Maybe she's busy today. I'm sure she can't be here all the time. Yes, yes that is true. However... Something worrying mm -hmm. you? Yes. She looked very sad when she left the other day. She looked... different. And she said, goodbye, Liz. She usually says, see you later. So I thought it was strange. That makes sense. What? Maybe something's happened at Sarah's home. At her home? A while ago, she told me... She doesn't have her parents anymore, and she lives with her uncle. I hear he's a violent man, and sometimes even abusive towards Sarah. She's too scared to go home. She told me that's why she's always playing out here. Is that so? I don't know what I would do if... I'm gonna go look no. for her. No. I'll go. Mm -hmm. You, Kenshiro? Yeah. You should head back to the nightclub. I'll make sure Sarah's okay. But... Her uncle's supposed to be violent, right? You might get caught up in that. Leave this to mm -hmm. me. I... I understand. I don't know where she lives! Apparently, we know where she lives. It's all the way over here. On the other side of town? Of course it is. It is on the opposite side of where we are. Of course. Why would it be anything else? Uh... I honestly don't know, like, the easiest way to get over there. Ow, ow, ow. Yes. Ow, all of you. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed, but without all the robbery and just more of the ow. Here's the brat I promised. Pretty good one, huh? She's cute. Bet you'll fetch a high price. <laughs> you sure you just want to sell her off? She's family, right? Heh, <laughs> positive. My family's dead. It's no skin off my nose. In fact, they should be grateful I raised such a high-priced kid. Ha 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 ha! And I thought I was bad. Heh, <laughs> come on, you little shit. No. <laughs> yeah. What? The hell? Go, damn it. Nobody's looking out for you anymore. If you don't sell, I can't drink. So get your ass in gear. <laughs> don't worry. The people who buy you are going to be nice. Real nice. <laughs> Help me, please. I told you to go back to the club. What? Stop right there. Liz? Who are you? My name is Liz. Sarah's my friend. I'll never let you sell it. Liz! Hurry, Sarah. Run! <laughs> but... Just run! Yeah! Huh? Hey! Hey! You bitch! What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll slit your throat! If it means helping Sarah, then I don't care if I die! I won't let you pass! The hell? You stupid... <sighs> Goobibi! Why did you yell Goobibi? Hmm? What? Kenshiro? I told you to leave it to me, Liz. I'm sorry, but... Out of respect for your fiancé, I can't let you die here. Stay back. Yeah, because if she didn't have a fiancé, then we totally would have let her die. Okay. It's just out of respect for her dead fiancé that we're letting her live. Otherwise, she'd be dead. What? Man, you guys just keep coming. Whatever, change of plans. I'll kill you and sell the bitch. 
Give it your best shot. The hell? Heh, here we go. Here we go. What is he, Mario? Here we go. He's a me, a Mario. <laughs> Banana, banana. Merciful execution. My arm's so heavy. The hell? I can't. Oh, at least I crushed his face. Ooh, S plus plus. I'm sorry, Kenshi Rowan. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I was very scared. I didn't know I was capable of something like that. My body moved entirely on its own. I had to save Sarah, even if it meant losing my life. Let's see. Hmm. Suppose there are times when you abandon reason and your heart just takes over. I wonder if that's how he felt when he saved me. It would seem some things are worth dying for. I've always regretted losing him, but I feel a little better knowing how he must have felt. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. So, what are you going to do with Sarah? Well, I plan to take care of her. You? Yes. As long as that's what she wants, I couldn't leave her by herself and... I'll be happy if she's with me. We're both lonely, so we can be each other's family. But I might not want that. We're not even related. I wouldn't worry about that. Mm -hmm. What? Liz! <laughs> Sarah! <laughs> <laughs> what a great smile. Delightful. That was really adorable. Liz's skill went from Liz's prayer to Liz's prayer. EX. Wonder how much that heals. I guess Ow. Brights next. I'm excited to do Brights. That'll be fun. Oh, it's not. Once you run into someone, once they don't like it when you run into them again. <laughs> I think it's my favorite thing to do in the game is just to bunch bump into people. It's delightful. I love bumping into people. I gotta go take out the recycling before I forget. Well, I don't see Bright anywhere. Oh, she's right there, I think. Okay, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take out the trash real quick. And uh, yeah, and we'll keep doing this. Bumping into scrub -a -lubs.
All right, let's uh, let's talk to. I think that's bright right here. Yeah. Damn it! What the hell do I do about this? Someone's pulling my leg. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Someone's out to hey. get me. Hey. What? Ah! Whoa! Kenshiro! Don't scare me like that. Something bothering you? No. Whoa. What? No. Nothing's bothering me. Hmm? Oh, she dropped something. The lure of a love letter. Oh, big seduction. Hell yeah. Get you some. Right, going to get what? freaky. What's that letter? Oh my gosh, is it from a girl? I don't know. It's not mine. Huh? Whose is it then? Let's see. Hmm. What? Th this is... What is it? My dearest Bright, love of my life, there's something I must tell you. I'd like to tell you in person. Meet me in front of the big tree by the clinic. I'll wait for you. Forever. It's a love letter, and it's for Miss Bright. It's a love letter to Miss Bright. Oh. You just said the same thing twice. Now we know. Hey. Didn't anybody teach you not to read other people's letters? It was lying on the floor, okay? We were just trying to figure out what it was and who it belonged to. Oh? Miss Bright! Sheesh, I'll leave for one second. I mean, you kind of ran away. This is wonderful, Miss Bright. Who's it from? Oh, probably just a prank. Huh, why do you say that? There's a lot of girls out there who are way cuter than me. No one would send me a love letter. I mean, it was addressed to you. They know your name. Fuck up, girl. Plus, I've pissed off plenty of people in the past. It's probably someone getting back at me. Someone wants to get my hopes up, then sit around and laugh at me while I wait all embarrassed. No. Oh, I don't think that's true. This looks like an honest love letter. Who would go this far for a prank? I mean, some people be doing some mean things. They even said they'll be waiting for you. They'll be so sad if you don't show up. You should go. But... She should go, shouldn't she, Mr. Kenshiro? This letter's real, right? Come on, Hina. Nobody would send a letter like this to a girl like me. It has to be a prank, right, Kenshiro? Right. You're beautiful. Wouldn't be strange for someone to like you. Can't be sure this is a prank. Can she, Ro? What are you gonna do, Miss Bright? Hey, can she, Ro? You think I should go? Up to you. Mm hmm. You're right. Okay, I'll go. Really? Yeah. It's not like I'm happy someone likes me or anything. I just can't be at my best with this going on. I need to see if this is a prank or not. Then I won't have to worry. You know, I'm not usually this stressed. If I find out someone's messing with me, I'm gonna kick their ass. Thanks, Kenjiro. I'll go check it out. You got it, girl. Miss Bright sure seemed happy. Yeah. Hmm. Bright? Where's Bright? She just left a minute ago. What's wrong? Just heard a rumor that some guys in town are hoping to get revenge on Bright. Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> I was trying to stop her from going out. What should we do? I don't want anything bad to happen to her. They're two separate things, though. They're two separate things. Some people want revenge, and someone has a crush on her. They're two separate things. Do not confuse them. Two separate things. Two. Sometimes things can be more than one. Two. 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 What? Huh? D does that mean? Right was headed for the big tree by the clinic. I should go. No, no. Two separate things. 
cool separate things. Two separate things. Two separate things. Two. I drink some coffee. The more I have drunk of this coffee, um, I don't like it. <laughs> oh. I don't like it. I've discovered I don't like. Hmm? Um. There will be blood. Will you please go out with me, Miss Bright? What? I, uh, you. You're joking, right? Get you some, Bright. Get you some. I'm serious. The more time I spend with you at the club, the more beautiful you become. You're all I ever think about, Miss Bright. Please go out with me. He's desperate. You can get anything out of him. Like a relationship. <laughs> Why me? There are a lot of cute girls there. Besides, I'm... Is there someone else? A boyfriend? Huh? Uh, well... Hey. hey, hey, there you are, Brighty. Oh, that guy's like really big. Hmm? Who are you? Hmm? What? You don't remember? You beat me up a long time ago. Losing to a girl? What a fucking embarrassment. It's about time I got even. Heard you're working at the nightclub now. Ha! A manly broad like you acting like a little princess. That's some funny shit. Anybody that requests you has got to be either blind or stupid. Uh, what? You can mock me all you want, but I won't let you talk about my customers. Oh, you think you can take all of us? <sighs> what? That's not fair. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this. Here, 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 here. Hey. You'll have to keep waiting. What? Huh? Who are you? Ow! Kenshiro! Step aside. Hmm. B -b 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 I'm the manager. This is my job. Yeah. It's Thursday and I'm taking out the trash. Kenshiro. Right, thank you. What? Heh. <laughs> Fine, the bitch can wait. You die first. Yeah. Wait, no, no, I don't want to die first. You die first. That guy is a sickle. Okay. I popped that dude like a grape. Hey, Kenshiro, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh. Didn't mean to bother you. Oh. Miss Bright. I'm sorry. Can't go out with you. Yes. I understand. There's someone else. There is. Bright skill went from bright shield to bright shield EX. Who's the someone else? Who's the someone else. I'm gonna turn that off, man. I don't feel like I need tips anymore. Why do they keep popping up? If I, like, click on them, will they eventually just go away forever? I'm 
I want to see, like, how much they can make now that they, like, powered up their skills. wonder if there's a follow-up. Yeah. Huh. Uh... Uh. Awesome. Hey. What y'all doing? <laughs> Welcome, sir. What? What's going on? He. <laughs> you get to be the customer today, Mr. Kenshiro. You've helped all of us so much. So in order to thank you, we decided to throw you a party. Is that all right with you? Not exactly like we let you say no anyway. Are you sure? It was Lyra's idea. Hee <laughs> hee. Guilty. It's not like we get to do this all the time, so let's have some fun. Sound good? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Welcome to the nightclub. Going to the nightclub. Going to the nightclub. Yeah, nightclub. Hmm. Oof, I can't drink anymore. Yep, bottoms up. Yeah, party's winding down. Maybe it's time we call it a night. Wait, Ira, you didn't forget, did you? Oh, right. You still have to do that thing. What's that thing? What's that thing? <gasps> that thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. You've got something very special planned for you, Kenshiro. I thought this was the thing that was special planned. Something special? No. No, you can't. I have Yuria. <laughs> He's an idiot. But no, also, yes, good thoughts. Huh? What are you talking about, Kenshiro? Huh? Hmm? I'm talking about presents. Presents? Yeah, Mr. Kenshiro. In order to say thanks, we all got you a present. One from each mm -hmm. of us. You'll accept them, won't you? As if we have to ask. He has to accept yeah. them. Yeah, of course. Yes. I suppose I'll go first. This is from me, Kenshiro. Eden's cure-all. <sighs> Trash. You helped me move on with my life and still living in the past. Thank you so much. I learned that people are meant to smile for one another, even me. I'm gonna keep smiling from now on. I'm glad you'll be here with me, Kenjiro. Yeah. yeah, same to you. Yeah. Oh, me, 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 me. I'm going next. Here, I hope you like it. I and balanced engine G. See, that's why we cool, bright. This bump. Yeah, you know what's up. You know what's up. You got me an engine. Girl, love. Love. See, that's... She gave me some, like, scented baubles and, like, bath oils and shit. And you're like, yo, here's an engine. Like, yo, yeah, for real. Practical. Come on now. You know, we went through some shit. But I'm having the time of my life now that I can finally be myself. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Let's keep it up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I guess I'll go next. I, um, this is for you. Neon ring. It's worth a lot, so you better take care of it. Can I pawn it? And, um, I don't know what I'd do without you, so you better take care of me, too. Yeah, I will. <sighs> I mean, until I leave in, like, a couple of days, so. I feel so embarrassed. Hina, you're next. Yeah. Right. Um, here you go, Mr. Kenshiro. Mother's Augite. See, now that's some good shit, too. Word. Yo, Hina, you know what's up. I was just a nobody here, but thanks to you and everyone else, I was able to grow. I'll keep growing and become even better, so please take care of me, okay? Yeah. Of course. Yes. Well, I guess that just leaves me. A million dollars? I don't need it. Trash. I make a million. I make a million dollars a night working here. You're just gonna give me a million dollars? 
What if you gave me something I could use? Pay off my $100 million debt. You, you're giving him money? Mm-hmm. Kenshiro's an employee here. He only naturally gets paid for all his hard work. You've done an amazing job here. It's almost unbelievable. This place truly wouldn't be the same without you. So in addition to that, I also have a contract renewal. If you accept it, you'll have to keep working here. <laughs> Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds great. But can you, like, double how much you're giving me so we can pay off my debt faster? Consider your contract renewed. Well, I guess the party ends here. Keep up the good work, everyone. It's time to open up. Right. Wait. We did this before we had to work? You all ready? Let's make those customers happy. Same as always. Of course. Hell yeah. Obviously. Let's put on our best smiles. Oh, Kenshiro? A customer. Right. Let's do it. Right. Wait, they're gonna they're gonna service me? We welcome you, honored guest. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Wait. What? 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 Oh, I got 5,000 points for that. Scam. I deserve at least like 30 million experience points for that one. I think it's 30 million that I should get. I can still drink. That's how you sound. I want to see how big of a boost uh, Hina gets for uh, all of them, actually. Well, let's go check it out. Yes. We're not going to do anything here. I just want to see how big of a boost that they get. Uh, I guess it's train. Earn five times sales? I mean, damn. Sweet. All hostesses are immune to HP loss for 25 seconds. All hostesses on duty recover 80%. Three times sales. Yeah, hers just stays at uh, at one star. Yes. All right, let's see how much we earn. I need to see. I need to see. Let's do one. All the ladies are about to die. We gotta buy more uh, confection things. Keep their health up. All right, let's see what happens with Hina's big boost. Big Hina boost. Let's have fun. You're my type. Thank you for waiting. Good evening. Oh Take your time. yeah! Thanks a bunch. Just my time. Let's get Let's go. All right, this is Mr. Bags. Now we get that big milk. Honestly, I don't think it's going to make it go any faster, right? I don't I don't think this is actually going any faster. Take your time. Whoa. 
Wonderful. I wonder if it would be better just to wait for uh, Emma's thing to go off. Rather than just use uh, Dina's. This club kind of Go ahead. Oh. Be interesting if she just like awesome. took money awesome. from, you know, Take everyone. Go ahead. Like her smile affected all the tables. I think we're going to get it off. I took everything from him. It's the same as before. We didn't make any more. It was the exact same amount. Like, nothing's really changing there. I don't I don't think anything changed with me doing that like I mean that's great that their power you know her thing went up and maybe it could have helped with some other things but that did not seem very useful for me Well, if we're gonna do the, continue to do this, which we're not gonna do that right now, I'm gonna go buy some more confectioners, drop them off, and then we'll go to what? I just need to go home because probably that's the last thing we can do. Welcome. Thank you. Maybe it's the last thing. Ow. It doesn't really matter. Let's just go home. We'll turn it into daytime and we'll uh, we'll go talk to Ray again. Let's just drop that stuff off at the uh, guy over here. He's got a cool bike. I want a cool bike. Well, you got a cool bike. I don't have a cool bike. You just drop everything in the inventory. I don't know if we'll ever need our meats. Sweet meats. Sweet, tasty meat. I like how I got a chicken roommate. This room smells foul. It's <laughs> a joke. Uh oh. Uh, a lot of follows. Okay, well, thanks for all the followers. Unless that's like bot stuff. That was a lot to pop up at one time. That's all. Like they all, they all popped up at one time. Well, either way, thanks for the follows. Uh, let's rest until afternoon. Jagre ought to be back at the barracks by now. Sweet. Let's go talk to Jagre. It's really stuck on the the punch out one you win in chun li 
No Sonic. Please stop. It is a... Makes you think. Makes you think. Like, if we got raided, it would have been one thing, but just, like, randomly out of nowhere, it's a lot of random follows all at one time. It's suspicious, is all. Good! You're here! Let's see what Jabre knows. Sub Ken? Let me guess. You're here about the helmet guy. That's right. Any leads? We tracked down some victims, but not the man himself. There's a search party out looking for him now. Has he done anything besides kidnapping people? <laughs> sure has. Roughing up shopkeepers and tearing through the streets on his motorcycle is just the beginning. In just a few days' time, he's killed ten guys and abducted three. So just men? No women? Nope. None except for Ray's sister. Other than her, it's been all dudes. It's bad enough he's got flunkies running around. What kind of people did he murder? One guy died trying to save his pal from being abducted. The rest were just rando punks who picked the wrong fight. Either way, I've got no idea what his endgame is. Haven't been this stump since Ken rolled into town. Sup, I'm Ken. Whoa, man. Nothing personal. Any leads that can point us in the right direction? <sighs> Afraid not. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to check the jail? Under the Coliseum? What for? One of the punks who survived got thrown in there. He might have a clue about this helmet-wearing asshole. He escaped the bloodbath and ran up begging the watch for protection. Must have been scared shitless. Some punk. Let's go. Um... Am I allowed to do bounties? Nope. So I guess we're going to the jail? That's on the uh, west side of town here. Do I have two friends now? Two friends. Two friends. I have two friends. Move, lady. I have two friends. I don't see you with your two friends. I have two friends. I have two friends. Move! I have two friends. That's right, lady. Fall over. Two friends! I'm a guy with two friends. Get out of my way. I got two friends. Get out of my way. I have two friends. You guys still my friends? Great. Glad I'm so popular with friends right now. Uh, it's right over here, right? That is not. I'm going to the Coliseum. Oh, I thought they said I was going to the jail. Clearly, I zoned out after they said jail. <laughs> Two friends coming through. Guy with two friends. Guy with two friends. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Oh, I got that kid. Suck it, kid. Hey, how's about letting me in? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Mustache. Tight security. Yeah. Good conversation, guys. It's a jail. Can't have dudes just wandering in. True. Though, I guess some folks do just wander out. All right, fellas. Stay close. Can't have you getting lost. Dude, how complicated can it be? You probably have, like, one row of cells. This here's our punk. Yo, tell us everything you know about that helmet guy. 
Give us something useful, and we'll give you some jerky. <laughs> well, ain't this the five-star treatment? If I knew you were so hospitable, I would have turned myself in ages ago. Sweet, you're welcome. Start talking, or it's no deal. Shit, my bad. Listen, something big is going down tonight. Tonight? You heard me. He was muttering about all the pieces being in place, and how they were gonna move at nightfall. Pieces? I assumed he was talking about a heist, so I figured I'd join in on the fun. I offered to help. And he asked if I heard what he'd said. Pretty sure you know the rest. It was a friggin' bloodbath. I don't know how, but the rest of my gang just started blowing up. It was like a bad trip, but without the drugs. Ken. That's Hokuto Shinken, all right. It has to be Jaggy. Sounds like we'll be working the graveyard shift. I trust you fellas are gonna hit the streets, too? Yeah, that's the plan. Make sure you're all set before the shit hits the fan. We still don't know what this guy's planning. Right. Drugs make trips fun. I think. I would know, no. Mm -mm -mm, not me. Mm? Not I. Tonight, huh? What on earth could he be up to? Can't even guess. Oh well. Come nightfall. We'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, deep in the bottom. And we will. Let's rendezvous after dusk. Yeah. We're doing a lot of sleeping. All right, off to bed. Oh, people to run into. Uh, where am I? I got distracted when I was bumping into people. All right, back to our house. Won't take another nap or redo. Who's this guy you're talking to? Hey. Hmm. Please, I beg you. I understand, but I'm only one man. Hey. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, Kenshiro. My buggy's all fixed up, so I've started helping people again. Problem is, there's too many requests for help. I was just about to head out, and now this guy needs help too. Please, my buddy still hasn't come back. Please, man, you gotta help nope. him. Nope. I understand how you feel, but there are others who need help too. But just have to wait. But please, my friend's really important to me. Please. Damn it. I'll do it. I'll help you. Huh? You will? That'd be a big help. Thanks, Kenshiro. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. I'll leave his friend to you, Kenjiro. We'll need to save everyone within four minutes. There's five people this time. Hmm. Five people in four minutes, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be tough, but I'm sure you can do it, Kenjiro. Why is there a time limit? Like, they're just gonna die? Come talk to me yeah. when you're ready. Got it. The never ending problem. No problem, Oman. No problem. Oh. Let's do it. Ready to get rescuing, Kenji Roar? All set. Yeah. I'm all set. Good. Let's get started. I mean, we'll find out if we can do this or not. I mean, why can't we? I'm a I'm a I'm a great driver. Some people even call me guy that drives cars sometimes, so yeah. Yeah, we got this. Rescue all five people within four minutes. The first is in the northeastern corner of the Northern Plains, Curie. Okay, to our left.
Or what do we got? Kinda. Kinda straight ahead. More to the right. Alright, and we should see him at some point. Is that a human? No, it's not a human. Further ahead. Dude, this is gnarly. I don't, I don't see anyone. Is he on the other side of the rock? Is he passed out? Help me. Hey, you okay? It hurts. Oh, that's probably why I didn't notice him. The second person is near a big rock in southeastern corner of the northern plains. Dude, that took like way too long. Oh, I can't make it across that. There's like a huge barrier. Ain't no fucking way I can do this unless we pick up like four of the people at one time. Seems like it's like straight ahead. I'm not seeing people. Oh, here we go. Please help hey. me. I'm here to help. Thank goodness. Northern, southern area of Northern Plain. Let's keep going straight ahead. Sort of. Maybe a little off to the left. We were right in front of it. How could this happen? Hey. You all right? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Fourth person is in the western area of Northern Plain. Northwest. We're heading in the right direction, I think. We don't have a lot of time. We got to get there as quickly as possible. Can't let our engine explode, though. Plenty of gas. I think we're, like, dead in line. That's all. Uh, Damn it, those bastards! Hey, you okay? Hey! Thanks, man! You got it, brother. Fifth person is in the western area of the northern plains. We have a minute. It's behind us. Careful here. Okay. Hated that lamppost since I knew about it. There we go. Here we are. Oh, dude. Ugh. We had way more than enough time. I can't go hey. on. We're okay now. You're here to help? Thank you. That should be everyone. I was able to rescue them all within the time limit. I made With it. plenty to spare. With plenty time to spare. Nice. I thought that was going to be, like, way tighter than that. Lots of, uh, lots of leeway. At least with our current vehicle. Which is only, like, the second tier of upgrades, so... It's not good. Yeah. It's one better than garbage. It's trash than garbage. We've got trash. Kenshiro, you were a big help today. Thank you. 
This is for all your hard work. Please take it. Enlarge tank Neo. Oh, you don't. Get... What's that for? <laughs> hey. You okay? That injury looks pretty bad. What the heck happened? Well, I was on my way back to Eden when I was attacked. Attacked? Correct. Yeah. Some bandit group's been roving the wasteland recently. They'll attack your buggy and take everything. We lost everything we had. It was so long to gather up all that stuff for our families. Guess they'll have to keep suffering. <laughs> hey. What did they look like? I don't really remember. Their leader was huge. His name's Gurren. Huh? Gurren? Hey. Sound familiar? Yeah. I know the name. You remember where you saw him? What? Huh? Yeah. Finally found you, Gurren. Oh! The plot thickens. You can tell because of the, the droning music. Wow, 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 wow. It's the sound it made with its mouth. Oh, I guess that's for later. I guess that's for later. We probably have to go in somewhere and back out and then the thing will respawn. Ow. Oh, may I help you? You can save my game. I got an insatiable bloodlust. Insatiable. I think maybe the um the bounty might be tied in to what we're doing. I think maybe. I could be wrong though. But I think it might be. It might not be. It might be two different things. They could be same things. I forgot that we could save in here. All right. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out. The freaks come out at night. Yeah. I'm a freak and we're coming out at night, baby. Freaking it. Glad you're here, Ken. Jaggy's flunkies are running wild. Fine by me. They can lead me straight to them. No, I shook down a few, but they're just following orders. Bugging civilians, wrecking up shops, raising hell. Are they just here to cause trouble? No idea. One of them has to know where Jaggy is. Let's head northwest of the Neon District. We'll have check the casino. Got it. We've been to the casino. All right. Off to the casino with my singular friend. I don't have double friends, so I'm not as happy right now. I'm happy. Out of the way. Two guys coming through. Whoa. Two friends coming through. Out of the way. Two Whoa. friends. Two friends. <laughs> if you have two friends, you can Whoa. walk this way. Two friends. You have two friends, but we're bigger. Oh. Wise guys at the casino. Ken, look at the casino. Hmm? Guess we ought to sit tight until the messenger shows up. Not a bad idea. But we can't do jack shit around here without any money. And we just take what we want like the boss does. Blame it all on the man with seven scars. Heh. <laughs> I like the way you think. Hey, you work for Jaggy? You better believe it. The name Jaggy strikes fear into... Wait, how do you know the boss's name? Just tell me where to find him. Whoa, you got a troublemaker here. Let's mug him already. You gonna kill them, Ken? Doesn't matter. Whatever gets me the info I need. Huh, I see. Well, ain't you cocksure. All right, let's shake him down. Oh, I can really shake him down. Ow. <laughs> this 
This one's definitely my favorite because it at least hit, whoops, it at least hits multiple people. I wish there were more of those attacks that we could do to like hit more people. Bye bye. Hey, I'm throwing him to Ray. Ray, catch him. We gave we gave Ray a bath. Ray's a dirty boy. So clearly we got all our information. Now then, come on out. We know you're there. Shit. You must be the messenger. Tell us where Jaggy is and we'll let you live. Uh, I don't know where the boss is. We're supposed to meet up by the derelict buildings near the Neon District. Really? It's true! There you have it, Ken. Let's move. Um... Looks like you get to live. You ever set foot in the city again? Kill you myself. Now leave. <laughs> Off to the Neon District. Wait, we're in the Neon District. Aha! Bumped into my friend. Got him. No need to rush, Ken. What was that for? Ow! Hey, watch it. Friends bump into friends. Out of love. Ow. <laughs> Ow. 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 I like how Ow. he just spawned in a big group. You guys work for Jaggy? You guys work for Jaggy? Those scars. You must be the boss's little bro. What do you want? Where's Jaggy? You may be weaker than the boss, but I ain't no idiot. I'm not gonna pick a fight with you. Smart move. Tell me what you know. Whoa! You wussing out? This here's a golden opportunity. If we take him down, the boss might give us a raise. Maybe even a promotion. Pretty sure the boss called dibs on killing him. Tell me out. Step aside, coward. I'll just use the hokey doe shit can moves I picked up from watching the boss. Heh. Just watch. I'll become the new fister of the North Star. Yeah, fist that North Star. Real good. Cat fist. I have no idea what button that is. Like, we never do that. I'm ready to hit the square button. Not. Got him that time. I guess I'm just gonna kick that guy. Kicking's good. Kicking's good. You learn a lesson through a kick. 
This won't end well. I'll ask you one more time. Where's Jaggy? Sorry, I don't know. All we know is that you're the target. What? We're just killing time till we're supposed to meet up. Last I heard, the boss was hiding in the junk district. You better be telling the truth. For your sake. Of course. I don't want to die. Yeah, anyway, good luck fighting the boss. Why are you betraying him? After seeing what this city can offer, you're like an idiot for slumming with that wacko to begin with. Probably can't stay here, but maybe some other town will have me. I don't really care about you, so bye. I'm going to wherever the junk district is. I don't know where that is. I think that's where the junk shop is? This is my favorite. Oh, I hate them. Yeah, it is where the junk shop is, right? Ow! Let's kick it again! Ow! Whoa! 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 Ow! Ow! Oh, I see them. No good, no good fools. Those jaggies flunkies. Anyways, I asked this chick at the nightclub for her digits, and she said not even Eden has phones. You sure she wasn't into you? Whatever. After I finish this job, I'll just head back and take her whether she's into it or not. Hey. You guys, Jaggies flunkies? Hmm? Crap! Your scarves! Shit, let's scram! I'll take the runner. These ones are all yours. Got it. Oh, we're making friends? Yes, my back's against the wall. Die! Yep, let's just fight, man. And you'll be the first to die. Oh, you can suck a giant turd. Holy crap, I was not ready for any of that. Square than triangle, what the hell? Cool. Thanks, camera. more ready for that one. Not doing great with those. Not doing great. There was a moment we were getting all of them, and now my brain's just like, mm -mm, nope, not processing. Looks like you're done here. Yeah. Let it go. I got him to point me in Jaggy's direction. He said a clearing over to the east. Eastern clearing. Hopefully we can find him soon. Eastern clearing? What the hell's a... Eastern clearing? Where am I going? Ow. There are no clearings Ow. anywhere here. The, the town, not a prairie. Whoa. Whoa! What the?
Me. Jaggy. Ken, which one is Jaggy? No idea. Even you can't tell, huh? No. But he's got to be in this group. The other three are probably the people he kidnapped. That's why he targeted men with similar builds. But why aren't they moving? Is Jaggy blackmailing them? No. He hit a pressure point. They can't speak. Regardless, we can't just rush in and attack. What do we do, Ken? I mean, just walk I'm over. I'm going to ask you all some questions. Motion with a circle for yes. Or X for no. What are you getting at? The citizens of Eden are honest people. Jaggy's a liar. If we catch one in a lie, we catch Jaggy. I see. Stay calm, everyone. Answer honestly and you'll be fine. Okay, Ken. Just say the word. Kenshiro will question the four Jaggies. Each Jaggy will give a yes or no answer. Fake Jaggies will always tell the truth. While the real Jaggy will always lie. Can you figure out who's who? Fake Jaggies will always tell the truth. The real Jaggy will lie, right? I mean, it's not just look for the one that's not doing the same thing as everyone else. I'm terrible at this. Ken, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's begin. What is your first question? Uh... Do you have any older brothers? Are the other two older than him? I actually don't know the answer to this. I don't know. Do you like dogs? Are you the real Jaggy? All right. Do you have any older brothers? Do you have any older brothers? Next question. Two X's and two circles. So... On the right? Looking on the right? Are you a citizen of Eden? Are you a citizen of Eden? Starting to narrow it down? Next question. Nope, they all said the same thing. Do you know Hokuto Shinken? Do you know Hokuto Shinken? Think you're getting close? Next question then. I think it's this guy on the right, the far right. Is the person on your left the real Jaggy? Is the person to your left the real Jaggy? One more ought to do it. What are you going to ask? The man on your right a citizen of Eden? Oh, do you like me? Is the man to your right a citizen of Eden? Well, Ken? Figured it out? Yeah. Good. So, which one is it? It's... This guy. Have you figured out which Jaggy is real? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Really? Just watch.
stand up and face me, Jackie. You're all safe. I released your pressure points. Run while you still can. <laughs> you want me? Here I am! That's right. How did you two like the show, huh? <laughs> so you're the bastard who kidnapped my sister. Aren't you, Jaggy? Damn straight. That is the great Jaggy to you! Long time no see, Kenshiro! Alright, so he had two older brothers, so when he said no, it had to be him, right? Well, it had to be one of the two. Jaggy, why did you come to this city? What are you, stupid? I'm here to end your goddamn life! I've been waiting for this day for years! Every time the injuries you gave me start throbbing, the voices in my head tell me to fucking kill you! Then the least I can do is shut them up. Say goodbye. Hold on, Ken. Let me handle this. I need to send him to hell myself. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb shits! You've already fallen into my trap! Can't you see? What does that mean? <laughs> Look behind you! No! Iri! Ray! Targa! Ray of Nato Sweet Choken! Bet you didn't expect your sis to get nabbed by the same guy twice! Why are you two working together? <laughs> he and I have some mutual interests. For starters, we'd both love to see you dead. Mm -hmm. Jaggy will get his revenge, and I'll take control of Eden. I met this guy at the bar! And we really hit it off. He just gets me, you know? God damn, if only I had a little bro like him! A real meat cute. Imagine my surprise when I learned he's your elder brother. Now I'm all hooked up with a match made in heaven. Fortune really does favor me. I told Targa about my plan, and what do you know? He was totally down. Poor Ray. Can't lay a finger on me while your cute little sister's over here. Am I right? You sick freak! Come on! What's the holdup? Aren't you gonna send me to hell? Go ahead. I'm right here. Then again, I'd hate to see your sister get hurt, wouldn't you? You monster! You're not even human! Ray! <laughs> I pressed your Shintanshu pressure point! You can't move a damn muscle unless I say you can! <laughs> As hilarious as this is, we probably should move along. This isn't exactly inconspicuous, Jaggy. Yeah, I hear you. Just like we planned, right? <laughs> Listen close, Kenshiro. Their lives are in our hands. If you want to save them, come to the Coliseum. Alone! There, I'll prove I should have been chosen once and for all. 
Settle your affairs. <laughs> If he has a helmet, how do I punch him in the head? I like how they kidnapped Ray. Ray just stood there like a little punk and got kidnapped. Like a little kidnapped punk. What a punk. Shame on Ray. Shame on Ray. You should have fought him. Should have fought him. Ow! Beat him up real good, like. But his sister was kidnapped. Ow. Clearly not his problem. Oh, I couldn't bump into those guys. We're gonna save first. No, we probably really don't need to worry about that. All right, call up. This is the wrong side of the Coliseum. Like everything has been that side of the Coliseum because that's where you enter the Coliseum. No, I'm angry. I'm taking it out on you guys. Child. Apology, citizen. Lyra's not letting anyone in. Lyra. Yes. He's been looking for you. I'll head to the nightclub. Oh my god, really? Why can't I fight him? It just can't be go to the Coliseum and fight him. <laughs> that guy was flipping out. Oh, there you are. Lyra. Don't tell anyone, but because the guy with the helmet took control of the Coliseum, we're tight on money tonight. But I don't want to get chaotic, so for tonight, we're closing it, saying it's under construction. That aside, I wonder what they're planning. Lyra, is there any way I can get into the Coliseum unseen? Oh, you gonna get rid of them? Yeah. It's me they want. It's me they'll get. So, this whole fiasco's about you, huh? I've heard of fans who dress up as their heroes, but giving himself matching scars is a bit much. Just a joke, babe. I saw the freak earlier. A fan of yours, he was not. As for your question, you can use the staff entrance. I'll take you right into the, it'll take you right into the Coliseum. I'll show you the way. It's not like we're busy. Don't expect me to jump into the fray. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm not going anywhere, so I'll be ready when you are. That contender was pretty strong. Let's go. Okay. Right this way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See? Right that way to the arena. Got it. Shame. I should have sold tickets. You would have sold out. But even if there was an audience, the odds would all be on you. Go. Kick some ass for Eden's future. You got. Now let's see how this goes. I mean, how's this gonna go? I'm probably gonna lose. And then we're probably gonna win. Good to see ya, Kenshiro. Real nice of you just to show up so I can kill ya. Jaggy. Where are Ray and Irie? <laughs> Don't worry, they're not dead yet. Ray. Irie! <laughs> the show is about to begin! 
And these two, front row seats. Hmm. So, my friend, let's get this party started. I'm looking forward to a fantastic show. <laughs> Man, I don't know what I ever did without you. Okay, listen up. You stay right there, and you better not move, or I'll make them slice up your pals. Taking hostages now? Don't you have any pride in your own two fists? Fuck off! I don't need no martial arts. I just gotta win. As long as I can do that, doesn't matter how the hell I do it. <laughs> Get it? There's no way. No way in hell that I'd lose to my kid brother! I'll prove it right here, right now. I'll prove it once and for all. No kid can ever beat their big brother. <laughs> I beat up Toki. Come on, bitch, say my name. I am Hokuto Shinken's true successor. The Great Yagi! <laughs> Did you give them Ambien? Why are they napping? Interesting fight. Turn so slow. What? 
<laughs> just punch him in the ass. Is that how we win? He spits in our face and we punch him in the ass? What the... What the hell? What are these moves? You ain't the Kenshiro I know. What is this? What happened to you? I have stained my hands with the blood of many great men. With every worthy opponent, I have found strength. Shit! I'm not gonna take this! Hey, Targa! Time to kill Ray! The hell? The shit? What happened up there, guys? The work of Kyo. Meito Kieken. Oh, daddy. Nadai. But then that would mean. Damn it! Okay. You wanna play rough? Well, I'm done fucking around! I'll kill you with my bare hands! If I'd known it would have come to this, I'd never have shown you mercy back then. That was a mistake. I will not make again. Shut the fuck up! I'll show you how a true master uses hope to Shinken! <laughs> Uh oh. Uh, I don't have any health. Say it. Surpass his elders! 
Bullshit, man. How is he, like, not getting hit by any of that? I don't know what I was supposed to do there. I was mashing X and nothing happened. That was weird. You're kidding. It's just fucking Kenshiro. How is he so... He's pretty it's easy. over. Jaggy. Hold it, Ken! What? What the... But I hit the right pressure point and everything. Where the fuck did you go? I told you. I promised you that I would be the one to send you to hell. Targa! Targa! I need your help now! I think not. Why would I bother wasting effort on a lost cause like you? How could I be your brother when I'm not even your friend? It's a shame about our plans. Guess you're just unlucky. <laughs> so much for your new brother. Looks like you've been abandoned. <laughs> this isn't happening. Ew. Is no way! Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ray wears a lot of belts. You think his belts give him power? Like the more belts you have, the more powerful you are. Freeze, motherfuckers! <laughs> Guess your luck has finally run out, buddy. I already beat that guy. He's a pushover. I've already been briefed on what transpired here. In the past, criminals have been made to fight, and the verdict was determined in battle. But Eden is changing. As ruler of this city, I, Kisana, will judge you by the new laws of Eden. Soldiers of Kyo'o's army of ruin. You were accomplices to Jaggi's abduction of Airi. For your crimes, the death penalty would be a mercy. 
However, I am going to suspend your sentence. Return to Kyo'o and tell him this. Eden will never bend the knee. Nor will we withdraw our hand extended in peace. What? Are you serious, Kasana? <laughs> it's my lucky day after all. Fuck you! Lucky had nothing to do with it! It's Kisana you better be thinking! It's alright, Jagray. I don't know about this! Yep, she's an idiot. You could just send one. If you want the power of Sphere City, let us work toward peaceful coexistence rather than seizing it by force. As the ruler of Eden, that is my solemn wish. Looks like we're done here. I can finally move on. You heading out? Yeah. Jaggy will never tear apart another family. I'm taking Irie and we're going home. I see. Thanks for all your help. I hope our paths cross again. Likewise. Strong you've grown. No, she just she, all stupid, grown stupid. Not I. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys go. Uh you can You can send one of them back with your message. And then all the others, you know, I don't know, stay captive. I mean, I guess you can't ask for peace if you're, if you have prisoners of people. That's just blackmail. <laughs> but I don't know, it seems like a stupid decision to me. Idiots. Idiots. Damn, boo! Ambition. Mm hmm. Ambition. It's probably fine. What? Why are we home? <laughs> After that earthquake in Sphere City changing, I have to ask Kisana what's going on. Wait, really? That's, that's it? Someone hiding in the corner? Nope, that's a stool. People aren't stools. Move so clunky, man. You move so damn clunky. It, fortunately, you're just like walking around your house, but oh my god, man, it's horrible the way you control indoors. It, this is this is so bad. Like, the way you get, like, stuck on environmental objects and stuff. It's so weird. Alright, the camera just wants to do whatever it wants to do. But alright, that's gonna do it for me today. I think we made some good progress today. We went through, like, three chapters. I think that's pretty solid. And, and we, and we, uh, earned some money towards our debt. Either way, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. Genuinely. We had a good time doing 
doing good time things. I'm just going to call it here. I'm super starving, so I'm just going to go run and grab some food. But guys, enjoy your mornings, afternoons, evenings, whatever you all have going on today. Have great Wednesdays. I believe it's Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. Hell yeah, I knew that. Um, and uh, I'll be back tonight. We will keep playing more Fist of the North Star. I don't know how much is left. I actually have no idea how much of this game is left. I'm, I'm kind of curious. We're at chapter 9? I bet you we're getting close to the end. I mean, we've been doing a lot of, like, pointless nonsense. There's still a ton of the wasteland I don't have access to. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're not quite, uh... Maybe we're not quite there yet. Either way, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm just gonna head on out. Uh, peace out. I'll be back tonight. Bye-bye.